Hi, Vod Channel. How you guys doing? Uh, the menu is deceiving. Uh, I don't know why the menu looks this ugly, but we are about to play a game that looks exactly like a game I've been wanting to have for the longest time. It is an I'm an observation duty style game where you have to spot the differences in spooky locations and then you have to get rid of the ghosts in some kind of way. So it is basically like a Phasmo plus observation duty, which is like sounds amazing. So I'm very excited to play. Uh, we've gotten early access to this game. It's coming out uh, in October for like the October Spook Fest or something from Steam. So it's coming out later this month. Uh, but yeah, I am excited to hop in. One second. Oh boy, he's gone. Where'd he go? He's back. Lost. Okay. So there's also no music and stuff. Wait, what the hell? Is my did I break my headset? Uh oh. What the fuck are you doing? My headset is not doing what I want. I think I oh yeah, I lowered the volume. That's right. Why why can't I hear anything? There's no sound on this menu. I think can we choose location? What the fuck? Okay, they gotta change this menu. This is the ugliest looking menu of all time. Adara, thank you for the five gift subs. You know what? I'm actually gonna head into the game. Do I, I start on normal, right? Start on normal and we're gonna do it on... Wait, can I even go here? I can't go to any of these maps. I gotta go to North Pines Cabin first. So let's go to North Pines Cabin. And then I think I'm gonna pause it here or is it gonna be an ugly pause screen as well? Welcome to... Wait, what the fuck? Oh God. Oh my God. I think I, let's go back to the main menu. What the fuck is this game doing? Every time I click on a menu, it like all tabs the game. Why? Uh, here, normal. We'll, we'll, we'll say hi on this screen. Cause the other screen is so ugly that if you see that screen, everyone's literally going to click off the screen immediately. They're going to be like, what the hell is this game? I don't want to play this anymore. Or I don't want to watch this video. They got to work on that. If you're watching devs, uh, change the menu immediately. <laughs> Anyway, here we go. We're gonna go say hi, YouTube. Mary, thank you for the five gift subs. Alrighty. Hi, YouTube. How are you doing? And welcome to Death Watch. This is a game I've been wanting to see for a very long time. It is basically... I'm on Observation Duty, which if you don't know I'm on Observation Duty, it is a spot the difference style horror game, which sounds boring, but it is one of the concepts that have ta has taken horror games by storm recently. There have been a lot of games coming out in that genre, a lot of fan games, and the main series has been getting a lot of attention. It is one of my favorite horror genre uh, out there. And then... Obviously, the other horror genre that I love is ghost hunting games, which uh, games like Phasmophobia, Ghost Hunters Court, etc. And this game is combining both of those. It is an I'm an observation duty style game with ghost hunting in there, which sounds absolutely amazing. It's not out yet. I have early access from the devs. So whatever you're seeing is uh, subject to change, but I'm extremely excited to check it out. Uh, I hope you join us. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. And let's hop into the game. Let's go. Let's go to North Pines Cabin. Let's do it. Okay, so here we are. We are sitting. I have no idea how to play, by the way. I'm sitting at a computer. Also, the Iron King. Thank you for the 10 gift subs. Uh, event logger. Okay, event logger. Okay, so we got the cameras that we're used to. There's also a microphone here. It's raining outside. Oh, God. We have to pay attention immediately. If you've never seen an Observation Duty style game, it's about to get crazy. Everyone in chat's going to try and help me out as well. Let me pause for a second because I think chat's on top of stuff. So I'm going to move chat over to the other side so you're not covering up anything. And then we're going to resume. How many cams do we got? We got path. We got driveway. We got graveyard, shed, porch. So five different camps. Also, insane pink. Thank you for the gift subs. Thank you, guys. What are you doing? Why are you guys going crazy? Okay, let's pay attention. So we got uh, some rubble over here. We got two candles. We got a bunch of graves. Uh, some chests. Oh, man, there's a lot of rubble around here. We got a nothing in the... Well, nothing of value in the trunk. We got some paint cans. Some more cans. I don't know how detailed this game is going to be. If it's going to be all ghosts or if it's going to be very little changes as well. There's a knife in this grave, for example. Thomas Murphy. Um, that's the only name I can see. The other names are kind of smooshed out. Then we got a gray or a shovel with a lantern. Oh, okay. There's a mannequin here. Was that mannequin there before? I think so. <laughs> I don't know. 
Uh, there's a kid with a saw there. That mannequin was there before? No, yes, no, yes. Okay, we're already starting to be conflicted. I don't see anything else. So let's say we see something. How do I... Oh, whoopsie daisy. Then you go over here and you report it. Okay, so you have object move, extra object. Object disappears, door manipulation, victim, limbs, blood, gore, symbols, feet or handprints, camera malfunction, writing, entity, entity sighting, lightning, audio threat, audio gore. So we got orbs and everything. Get the whole nine yards down. What have we got over here? You have this kind of machine to exercise the ghost or something? I don't, what the... Fuck am I doing? I broke the whole game. Well, I should have not done that. <laughs> I am blind and dead. Wait, did I just Oh my god! I think I broke the game. <laughs> okay, so don't just randomly fill in numbers, noted. Let's run that back, huh? <laughs> okay, so that is I'm guessing what you have to do to exercise the ghost. So you can't just randomly guess. Uh, we have to work that out. Okay, so let's pay closer attention to what we're watching here. Uh, we got two books. Because there is object movement, right? There's detail stuff. So we got books, we got a knife, we got a, we a rocking chair, we got a plant and a lantern. This one is easy. This The port should be doable. Then over here, it's getting a little harder. We have a, an axe. We got a lot of murder weapons, by the way. We got an axe and a, and a suitcase. We got three little boxes, a chest... Uh, three books. I'm just pointing you guys' intention to this because there's a lot of people that can help me out to not suck. Casey, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you guys so much. Uh, there's And if I missed anyone, thank you so much for the, for the support. I'm trying to not die over here, even though I literally already did that. Um, we have a knife. This one should be easy too. We got a bunch of graves, two stones, one stone, shovel and a lantern and a knife. Okay, that one's possible. What is this? This is a lamp? We got a ball. The door is open. Root Kitty, thank you for the four months of chatter. Thank you for the 17 months. We got a mannequin. Of course, mannequin with an effigy on it. Or like a star. Um, what else? What, what what could be changing? We got to spot... Once you start spotting your, your... Like a few anomalies, stuff starts rolling and you get into the groove of it. But especially the start... Of an observation duty game. What the fuck? I'm guessing graveyard. I got a uh, audio gore. Is that audio gore? I'm guessing that's audio gore. Do I report that? Log event. Checking for event of type audio gore in graveyard. Event logged successfully. New wavelength impossibility. Okay, so R3 is now impossible. I see. So you're slowly, you're figuring stuff out and then slowly unlocking the, the way to exercise the ghost. I see. Uh, I feel like something's different here. Was this here before? You can cross it off. Okay. Aha. You're, thank you. Okay. I see how this works. I see how this works. Look around. Any object movements? Any sneaky objects moving around? Nothing here. Nothing yet, at least. I mean, obviously, we got something to happen in here. But it all looks mighty fine. We are good at this stuff, right? Was that shovel there before? <laughs> Am I good at this stuff? Maybe I'm not. Is there a setting to adjust to brightness? Let me see. Uh, there is not. But I can't go full screen. It actually might help me out because it's, it's going... Uh, the, the game is pretty bright for me. I feel like it is easy to see. Like, obviously, this area is not going to have anything in it. It's all about the stuff you can see. So don't worry about the stuff that's in the darkness. I mean, unless it's going to kill you, in which case, probably do worry about it. Um, Shippy, thank you for the prime. I'm not seeing any changes. Can How do you die? Do I have a flashlight? Oh, I do. Oh, I don't like that. Wait, can there, something can there be something in my room? I don't even didn't even consider that. Uh-oh. Wait, my room is an option. Uh oh, wait a minute. We have to look around our own room too. Wait, that's actually really cool. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We got some boxes. We got a mannequin back there. We got some suitcases. Oh, this seems like it's gonna be really hard. I hope that door was open from the start. It's like FNAF plus Phasmo plus Observation Duty. Um. I mean, there's, there's some stuff here, but it doesn't seem very... There seems to be so much stuff. All right, let's go back to the camps, because at least here, 
We know what we're doing a little bit. Let's show oh, there's a person. There's feet. Feet anomaly. Uh, what's that? That's the shed. That's the shed. It's a body. Feet or handprints. Victim limbs. I'm guessing that's what it is. Yes, I'm going to report that. Because I see this. I see body. Okay. I bet the mannequin is going to move. I hope there's not going to be a body right behind me. Get out of here. Okay, new impossibility, R6. All right, we're slowly getting there, but it's going to be a while. So they're not get. Wait, they don't get fixed? Also, wait, there's blood there now? So they don't get fixed? Wait, that's interesting. That's different from observation duty we used to. There's blood here now. Did we say blood? In the... Oh, it's all... When I'm not in the screen, all the text is overlapping. It's the porch. Porch and it's blood. I'm gonna say that. At least it checks for me. I'm glad it does. Because I would definitely make mistakes. Okay, G4 is also an impossibility. Slowly but surely. Um, anything else? That's a book. Was that book there before? But there looks like there's blood on that book. Headlights were on, right? It was there before. Okay, thank you guys for paying attention more than I do, apparently. Uh, should I be looking around my own room more? Oh, boy. I don't like this. Also, why is the, why is the flashlight off to the right? This feels, this feels off. Can there be something hanging on the ceiling? This is definitely extremely dark. The door is more open. I hope not. I think we're fine. Oh, God. This flashlight turning off scared me. Uh, there's a green light anomaly in the path. Path. What is that called? Is that uh, light? Lighting? Lighting? Yes. Oh, wait. It's gone. Wait, did it change? Wait, but it got... No, it's good. It's green five. Okay, so I got it. That did fix itself, I guess. I'm not entirely sure how the fixing... Some of the things get fixed, some things stay. It seems like most of it stays. Like this fucking body out here. Can I not fix you? I can click on you, but that's the body. Oh, there's an extra tiny ball. Was there a tiny ball there before? I swear that's not there before. I'm gonna say extra object in the shed. Extra object. It was? I'm reporting it. I don't even care. If I die... See? I was right. I was right, unless it was something else. I mean, it might have been something else, but anyway, I was right. Regardless, it might have been something else, but at least we got something. Um, seems all fine. That's a very loud rumble. Something on that grave? Oh, it's just a plant. Oh, boy. So, I don't want... I don't know... Oh, my God, what the fuck? Hello. Um... Can you get the hell out of my room? I'm taking a screenshot. <laughs> uh, my room. And that is... What What do we got in my room? We got... Uh, extra object? Extra object. Can you get out of here? Are you going to stay here even if I report you? Oh. Okay, B4. Here we go. Why you stay here? What the hell? No, that's not okay. Oh, I hate it here. Nothing on the ceiling. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's really cool. I like that. I like the... Your own room being part of it. That's very neat. Was the door always open? I don't know, because I only started looking later into the game. Because I didn't realize my own room was an option. I checked the ceiling. I didn't see anything on the ceiling. Um, this is still all looking the same. Two rocks, one rock. Lighting in my own room. Really? Because I saw this thing. Is that new? Did that get turned on? Was that light off before? Yes? Okay, we're going to say my room lighting. I hope I don't... Uh oh. Lock, look, locking out of logging for 10 seconds. Okay, so that's the, that's the punishment. The... Oh. Oh. What the fuck? Oh my god! Excuse me? Hello? Did I just live a hunt? Was that a hunt? Excuse me. I do not like that. I don't think that's a... That's the ghost that killed us earlier, or the monster. Okay, so I'm guessing that when I hear that sound, I need to be looking around. Oh, there's blood. 
Blood in the shed. Shed. Blood. Boom. Easy peasy. We're killing it. And hopefully they're not killing me. That is R4. R5. Okay, so we're almost done with red. And you can obviously also guess, but I would like to not guess. I wish I could get you out of here because you're creepy. Oh boy. This is really cool. <laughs> Sound in my room? I don't think that works that way. I mean, I can log the sighting. Let's see. My room, and then you can't have audio. There's no, like, monster or something. I don't think that was an event. I think that was just a hunt. Also, battery, by the way. We're running out of battery. Uh-oh. Is that light? That That's a... Was that there before? I'm guessing it was. I just never realized it. Wait, was it there before? That's new? That's new. So we're gonna go path. And then we're gonna say lighting. Please, entity. Oh, let's go. B1. Oh, baby. Wait, we're doing it? I mean, obviously, we're playing on normal mode, not nightmare mode. Uh, there's blood in the grave. This is how we do it, baby. And this is only the first map as well. You're still there. You're still hanging out, having a good old time. Uh, what the fuck? I heard that. That was in my room. Hello? Sounded like someone was here. Am I about to die? Did I get it? I did get it. G3? Come on. More, more, more. What? Was that? Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. This looks a little different. Did any objects move over here? Graveyard shovel moved. You're correct. Did the light? I think the lantern moved. They were next to each other. So that's definitely, you're definitely correct. So we're gonna go graveyard object movement. I think I think you're right. And that that is gonna be right. Yes, gr green one. Oh baby. Okay, I should not be looking that long. So this moved, I think. Uh, you. Oh, what the fuck? What is that? Ah! Hello? Should I not have looked at you? Should I have looked away? Am I dead as hell? What the fuck was that? Um, excuse me. Tentacle face. Why are you here? That did not look like the monster though. Oh god. Um. Am I supposed to log that? How do I log something that's gone? Can I do that? Report. How do I? What do I report though? There's no monster report. Entity? Entity orbs is not... That's not... Oh, entity sighting. You're right, you're right, you're right. Uh, sorry, I'm stupid. That is the shed, right? Shed? I didn't see entity sighting. Okay. Does that work? Is it good, though? The blood we already got... The, the one thing that makes... That's kind of hard about this... Okay, so we have... The red one's done. We have two there. What's kind of hard about this is that the... That the th stuff sticks around. Which makes it harder for people that are coming in later to, like, know what what to what to yell in chat the blood i already reported for example this i already reported i i did i do both though i will do shed blood again maybe i didn't do one of them let's hope this is correct though because i'm gonna get locked out otherwise okay so i got locked out but we already reported that one i think i did one did this one as well um Am I supposed to be looking around more? Anything changed in my own- That opened, right? Was that open before? Was that open before? Orbs by the truck? What? Orbs? I didn't see orbs. You guys saw orbs at the driveway. Okay, I'm gonna go. Driveway entity orbs. There were orbs. I'm reporting it. I did not see it, but you guys are you guys are crazy. B2, we're almost there. Like three more reports and we're done. So as long as we just don't die. Please. That was already open, you say. I don't believe it, but I'm going I don't think there's a door opening. Oh boy. Just just keep moving. We can finish the game. Oh, light in the path. Perfect. Path, light, easy peasy. I still don't know how you die. Besides doing the thing wrong. Oh! 
What the fuck? Okay, if you can hear him in your room, you gotta look at him and shine your flashlight on it. Okay, okay. Now let's try. So I did got that one, right? That is B5. Now let's try entity sighting in my room. Oh, I can't do that. Extra book on the path on the path? Where? This one? On the porch? Extra book on the porch, you're right. Porch, extra object. Okay. We need two more. Come on. B3? Okay. Now just we need the green one. Come on. Extra object here? I don't see it. Are we running out of battery? We got 30%! Uh oh. Um. Body still. Is that box? Wait, is this moved? Is it extra? Extra books? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. That's why we got this. Oh boy. Anyone here? Anyone beside the mannequin in my room? Those books, I think they might have been there before. The mic icon is if there's sound in this, I think. Or when it can hear me, because it definitely can't hear me right now, if that's the case. Um, come on. Is this, is this standing on a book? Path briefcase? That was there before. And we just need one thing. Light by the tire? Isn't that normal? Oh, just one more thing. Behind me? In real life? Uh, handprints! Handprints in the shed! Uh, feet or handprints in the shed. Go. Get me out of here. Which one? Event logged. Successful. Wait, more data needed. What do you mean more data needed? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Fuck you. God damn it. Give me more. We are almost dead. Anything moved? I got bamboozled. Blood on the grave we already reported. Uh... I don't think object moved here. I don't think object moved. Extra object in the driveway? I mean, I can go for it. Sure. A driveway? I don't know if it's gonna show anything else if you miss something. This might be wrong, but that's fine. Is there light in my room? That light was there before. Come on, be right. Be right, be right, be right. <gasps> Jesus! It's 226. 226. Two. Two. Wait, no, these ones are. Huh? Just go for it. 226. Yes. Go. Click the button. 226. I heard whispering behind me. Wait. Whoa. Let's go! <laughs> Easy! Woo! <laughs> so that was baby mode on the first map. There's... <laughs> That, that was this map. So we did normal mode. I don't think we're going to hop into nightmare mode just yet. Because I really want to see... Oh, there's best times too. I really want to see the other maps. Because this map looks amazing. So let's go into Murphy's Farm next. Oh, baby. What is in my room? Let's pay close attention to my own room now. Instead of hopping straight into the camp. So we got a cross over there. We got three candles and a baby. We got a radio a picture on the wall. Two, three pictures on the wall, two candles, a bed with no person in it, two suitcases. Okay, I think that's about it. And then we got some satanic symbols already on there. And the the girl with the saw. Okay. All right, I think we've explored, we've looked at that uh, for long enough. Now, living room. Oh boy, I actually recognize this house from that Wicked Dolls game that we played. Um, There's a Ouija board. There is so much stuff here, but... The there's a fucked up painting. We got a Luigi board. Luigi board. Uh, we got a baguette. Well, a bit of a thick baguette, but anyway. Uh, we got a freezer that's wide open. Very concerning. We got a bunch of plates. Knife. Okay, this is the other angle for the dining area. They were eating some eggs. 
Oh boy. We got landing area? Wait, what? This is where the, you enter? Oh no, this is upstairs. Wait, when you go up the stairs. You land in this area. You got a very, very dark, bright light. Excuse me? It's too dark? It's definitely good. I, as far as I can see on the other screen, you can see it. There, there's no brightness option. So this is what we're going to have to deal with. I'm sorry, guys. But as far as I can see, it is definitely visible. I mean, unless you're unless you're looking at it in bright daylight right now. Like you're outside in the sun. Um, this all normal? <laughs> This all normal? There's a freaking entity or a freaking summoning circle going on. You got this. Uh, oh god. Oh boy. I this just seems insane. This seems so difficult. This adds such a new factor to the observation duty. Actually having to defend yourself and stuff. Hello? Anyone here? No? No one? That's fine. I don't want to see you anyway. Um, there's still four eggs. Still two chairs that are looking at each other. That seems a bit weird. We got... Okay, let me actually go over the items. We got two papers on the floor. Uh, we got five candles. A plant. A plant. Three paintings. Then we got a box or chest again. And we have this thing, which is in larger version in the attic. We got another chest. Laundry machine. Oh, are you going to stay there for the rest of ev ever? <laughs> what? Hello there. Um, are you going to, are they going to get rid of you? No, they're just going to leave you there. Event log successfully. More data needed. What do you mean more data needed? There's a fucking dead body in the room. <laughs> Excuse me. Do I do blood gore as well? Is that what you want? Someone's outside. What the fuck? That's wrong? What do you mean? I'm being trolled. Someone behind me? Did you hear that? Oh, boy. Definitely my room is very dark, though. I, I can give that to you. That, that, that definitely... Oh, is that a symbol? I think that's symbol in Attic 2. Attic 2 symbol. I'm going for it. Unless it was there before, in which case I'm gonna eat my words. Let's go, B4. Or B6. I, I can't read and click at the same time apparently um nothing here does this open before um this is the this welcome to observation duty uh where you it's the gaslight video game where you always go was that that way before or did that just change i can't believe you are a more data needed thing why the fuck is that not good enough reporting a hanging dead body wasn't wasn't enough to get a another symbol in the living room. We got more. We got more ghost riding. Uh, living room. We got another symbol. Let's go. Also, the time on the clock is actually accurate. Uh, we have R one. Okay, this is gonna require. We need. We need to get more speed. I have a need for speed. Also, I have not been really looking at chat. I should probably... Probably there's some things in chat that are like, Oh my god, he hasn't seen this yet. Were there always this on the piano? Look behind me. Could I get a better flashlight? Any symbols? There's a symbol on that, but it's always that way. Was it there before? It was? How do you even... How did you look at that? Are you crazy? Chest was always open. I remember that. Um, your room painting changed. Are you sure? Uh oh. I don't know, man. Oh, uh, hello, shadow in the landing area. What? 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 What is that? Entity sighting? Landing area. Shadow is not a thing. I'm going to say entity sighting. Unless it was just a... Just a, just a creepy one. Corpse in the ritual room already did that. Yes! Let's go B4. Actual B4 this time instead of B6. When I said B4. Okay. Uh, is there blood in the sink? 
I wish I had like a, a light on this shadow in my room. Stop saying this stuff. Stop saying this stuff. You're making me spooked. I have to squint to see anything in my room. The clock is actually going. I think so. It start. Yeah, it is actually moving. What the hell? Detail. Someone walking behind me. Uh, boy. I don't see anything. Clock physics. Oh, baby. That pot was always open. Time is changing. Times are changing. Uh, two things. No sounds since the beginning. Did someone turn on a flashlight in my room just now? I heard a click. Is that blood? Man, why was... What does that mean when it says more data needed? I don't understand that. Ball in the attic? Wasn't that there before? I could go... Ex I could just report some shit, obviously. Wait, is there someone behind me? I heard crying. Am I hearing things? Am I going insane? I think I might. A help? Uh, writing in my room? We got my room. We got writing. Help. More data needed. What do you mean more data needed? What the fuck? Is that just, I guess it's just sometimes it doesn't give you a, a thing. I don't think it has anything to do with what I'm reporting. I think it's just sometimes it won't give you something. So you have to collect more than just a, like the exact same amount every time. Like there's a chance for you to get something or something. Might be a chance or it might be difficulty related. Even though we're still playing on normal mode. So I don't know. Okay, I'm going too fast. Object movement in attic two. All right, let's go to attic uh, light in attic one. Let's do that one first. Uh, attic one, light. Oh, sneaky. sneaky. And then here, object movement, you say? G4. And then object movement. I'm going for it. I believe you. I don't know what move, though. And, I, and that's the thing. You won't know. Even if you get it correct. Oh, I'm locked out. Well, never mind then. Even if you're correct, you won't know what, what it was if you, like, guess. Because it's gonna, like... It's not going to repair it, which is very different from what we're used to in observation duty. Okay. We got help on the wall still. I haven't seen any crazy shit in my room, which I appreciate. Let it be known. Don't get me wrong. Um... I don't see anything. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you fucker. I'm so on edge. Okay. Nothing here. Uh, even though there's so much stuff. Was the toast out of the toaster before? Same one in the living room. I already got that one. Um, Blood. Blood in the landing area. Boom. Easy peasy. Easy report. What the hell? Why do you... Don't you close your eyes when you die? I don't actually know if that's true. Oh, no. They always go, like, with their hands on their on the eyes, right? To close them. No, what's the opposite? Then how do you... How do people go, like, with their hands over the eyes? And then they stay closed? Would that even work? Wouldn't they just open again? If it's, like, muscle-related? That's only in movies? That's Hollywood? <laughs> Okay, then. Uh, some of these rooms, we haven't spotted anything. We must be shit. There's a symbol on the um, in Attic 2. We already reported that one. That's the one thing that's definitely confusing for from a, like, group perspective. Is that something... That the things stay, right? After you report them. They stick around. You missed the orb in the living room. Orb in the living room. I'm going for it, but I don't know if that's correct, but it doesn't really matter if it's wrong. Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, those are the hunts. If you hear the sound, you have to find it in your room, otherwise you get killed. Okay, makes sense. I'm guessing that's what happens, but I'm not going to wait it out. Okay, so there were no orbs in the living room. I've been trolled. It was on the ceiling. This one, we already got the symbol. Um, board still there. Painting's still there. I feel like we must be missing a ton, right? 
We're already at 65 and we have barely scratched the surface when it comes to evidence. Could Attic 1 be gore and entity? I don't know. There was a face? There's a face? What do you mean there's a face? Face in the kitchen? I don't see it. It's me. I'm the face. I'm the face in the kitchen. Light in the bathroom. Let's go. E at least these are easy. Some of them. In the cabinet? Wait, what? I fit like, dude, this map is so much harder than the other ones. This is just fucking noodles or something. I don't know what this is. I don't see any face. I think you guys are going cray gray. At least we- Oh god, that scares me every time. Hands were always there. Yeah, that's not a thing. Does this move? What the- Oh, symbol on the wall again. Symbol in the living room once more. Living room symbol. Let's go. Entity in my room, R4. Okay, baby. Help is still there. Did I get an extra vent? That's pretty sus. All of this. It's so dark in here. I can barely see, man. Okay. You had two vents before. Why two vents? There's too many vents. One too many vents. The bread was always... It was always there. I'm pretty sure. I don't know, actually. I just, I'm just saying things. Um, just still there. I feel like object movement we must have been missing. Like, there must be some sneaky, sneaky anomalies. Because otherwise, this is fucking crazy hard. If it says more data needed, maybe that means there's something else in that room that we need to report. Maybe? Or, is that an orb? I, now I understand what you meant. Now I understand what you meant. That's in the kitchen, right? Is that what they were like before? Okay, I'm gonna go living room orbs. Living room orbs. Let's see if that works. That did work. Okay, B5. Okay, nice. Very good. So those are the orbs. They're literally like just regular Phasma orbs. Like regular ghost orbs we're used to. Oh, baby. I mean, these rooms are very simple if they're gonna stick to things that I can easily spot. Feels like scary bingo. <laughs> Get your grandma to play this game on the Disney cruise. Um. Oh, this room. This room's throwing me for a loop. There are missing in the dining room. There's definitely feels like something is missing. So I'm going to just go for that. I'm going to say dining area, but object disappearance. Uh, don't touch that thing at all. Oven is open. Oh, it worked. Let's go R5. And then we go kitchen door manipulation. Beautiful. Okay, now we're cooking. Oh, more data needed. Oh, yucky bucky. It looks like a Wendigo, by the way. At least it's pretty... At least you can hear where it's coming from in your room. Imagine this game in fucking VR. <laughs> would that be good, though? Because the, the, the screens are going to be really hard to see in VR. I don't think this would work in VR. But the, the room effect, the being in a room would work really well. So it's just going to leave this open, huh? <laughs> Is there object disappearing somewhere else as well? Head moved on the body? I don't think so. I'm just gonna say attic to object disappearance. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Wait, we entity sighting. Wait, can I do that? Ah, fuck me. I forget if that worked. Did that work last time? No, you can't report entity. Never mind. You can't report entity in your own room. I forgot. Was the living room painting always bloody? Yes, it was. Yeah, it was. 
This symbol we already reported, by the way, just, just reminding you because obviously the things stick around, so it's hard to know when I've already reported something. Those we have already done, both of those. This we've already done. There's something missing in the in this room, apparently, that we've done, but I don't know what exactly. Uh, this blood we've already done, obviously. Uh, anything? Here we had light. The fan turning the same way. Oh my god, they're gonna be as mean as uh, regular observation duty. Um, light in the attic. Uh, attic two light. Okay, please give me another one. We this is this is going much slower than the other one. R two. What the fuck? Hello? Uh, blood on my wall. Anyone here? Okay, blood on my wall. My room, blood. Oh boy. R3. Okay, we got the red one. Red one at six. Red one on six. Okay. Now what? Look at my bed. Nothing on my bed. Wait, did the, did one of the pillows disappear? Did I really only have one pillow this whole time? How do you sleep? Did I have a pillow? Extra pillow? Did it disappear or? I don't know. Attic to open cabinet. Attic one is the same. Did that open? Really? I mean, I can't report it. It really doesn't matter. Oh, we have 30%. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Event locked successfully, so it was actually open. Thank you. What is the mic icon? I have no idea. It has never really done anything. Maybe there's like, is there a setting? No, there doesn't seem to be anything. Tutorial? I don't need a tutorial. I already beat the game. Chat equals ice. That's oh hi there. <laughs> well, there's a body in the bathroom. Bathroom, uh, victim. Head. Come on, give me something this time. You can't keep doing this. G three. Okay. We only need well, we need like doubles because it doesn't give us. I love how they stick around. That's so fucked. Extra candle in the landing. Wait, is this light? That candle always been this fucking bright. Holy shit, Fena! Thank you for the 10,000 bits. Thank you. Jeebus. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, nothing is changing. Light in the living room. One... Oh yeah, there are more candles. Yeah, you're right. One, two... There were five candles before. I counted that. Wow, that is very fucking sneaky. That is sneaky. I'm gonna go lighting in attic one as well. B1. I'm gonna go lighting in attic one. Just to see. Also, does the screen... Because for me, the screen doesn't blink when I finish a report. For you guys, it does, I think. No, I, I don't know what the fuck. Does it? It does sometimes? Why? That's weird. It, it blinks. It doesn't do that for me. So I was like... I was looking to the side and I saw it. I guess that only happens when I got a, when I get a correct report. So that's a good way to know. <laughs> that's a good way to know. You guys get a little sneak peek. Um, this has always been bloody. Nothing else. There must be. There mu I'm just gonna go kitchen. <laughs> Where the fuck did he just? Excuse me. Wait, I can't turn my flashlight on. Uh oh, am I dead? Wait, where's my flashlight? Help! Help! My flashlight's broken? I'm dead? Wait, is this my last hunt? Is that what you're telling me? Oh no, I'm out of battery! Oh fuck, wait, we gotta go fast. Oh no. Oh shit. I'm fucked. Uh oh. Go, go, but we just gotta hunt right at the end, that's great. So now we just gotta- I'm gonna go kitchen. Kitchen, missing object. I don't even care. Did I do that already? Oh boy. Benna, thank you for the 25 gift subs as well. What the hell? Thank you. Just guess. I wanna. Extra fucking toilet. 
extra toilet in the bathroom. When I hear him, I'm just gonna go random. I'm just gonna guess. <gasps> G5. We have a 25% chance to guess now. So please, give me- give us one more. We need one more, otherwise we're gonna have... I'm just gonna fill in one, two. Just in case I get a breathe. If it breathes, I'm just gonna click the button. I'm just gonna smash. I'm probably gonna lose. Come on. Oven in the kitchen that was already open. I just got that before. Hot mess, thank you for the thousand biddies. I got this. I don't know if I do. Um. Landing one extra object. Yeah, we already got that one. Object over here. Bloody sink. Is it bloody though? Is that crying? I heard crying. Two toilets. We already got... Guys, look for new stuff because we already got these things. Object disappearance here maybe? Attic 2? I don't know. Fireplace? What's that on? Two toilets, one head. We already reported those just in case you didn't hear it before. No, I got locked up. We're so dead. Come on. What's the, is the fireplace turned on? Living room. Uh, X or light. I don't know. The door. We All of the stuff you guys are saying, we have already reported. Fireplace was on before. Okay, so we're just getting locked out again. We just need one more to have a 50% chance. Is there anything different here? Extra painting at the fireplace? I don't see it. I don't see it. Was there extra thing up here? Extra light, extra object in the living room? The added candle I thought was lighting, but it wasn't. <gasps> B2! Set it to B3! Okay, so now it's 50-50. Okay, we just need one more. The door! Bathroom. Door open. Come on. Please give me one. Don't tell me more data needed. Let's go! We got it. I'm clicking the button. Boom. Do we actually zero power? Did it work? <laughs> Holy shit. That was I think we were about to get another hunt in. and obviously if you don't have the flashlight you can't survive. So yeah, there you go. Murphy's farm cleanse. That was a that was a longer mission. I think we were just sucking there. That is a really nice it's really nice that you can I mean, obviously, eventually you'll run out of power, but it doesn't... You don't have to be as fast as you usually have to be in observation duty games. Okay, can, I can't do the labs yet. I really want to do the labs. So here we go. Next map. Hellbound Hospital. Let's go. That was a close one. Okay, how many how many camps do we have? We got one, two, three, four, five. I mean, we could just see it over here. We got freaking nine? Plus my room? Oh, God. At least my room is pretty bright I know exactly where this is by the way I've seen this map I, uh, in agonize I think we played on this map okay so there's three things there. I shouldn't have my flashlight on too much oh boy here we go so uh, operating room you have two pictures of um, anatomic things um, got a bunch of tools more tools more pills or pills um, broken tiles this is hard, man. There's five things. But I like that you don't have to spot everything. So if you're really observant, you can catch more than if you're not observant. And you either person can win, but the one person can win a lot faster than the other, right? Okay, so we got a cup. We got two candles. Wheelchair. Oh, boy. Outside entrance. Some... There's... Is that shaking? Looked like I was shaking for a second. Three, three street lights, some bricks, and that's it. Very empty. We got a board here as well. And we have a medical book, medical book, old-time computer. This is all open. Three 
uh, bottles in here. That's a lot of candles. We got a grail. We got a book with a knife on it. We got another book. And these doors are closed. Well, I mean, this one looks open, but I guess it's closed. <laughs> Maybe it's on a slight angle. And over here, we got 15 candles. You counted. We got some open drawers, some file drawers. Um, got a bunch of papers. Some blood on that paper, looks like, and a phone. Two books or two, two chairs. That's not a book. Uh, excuse me? Someone just knocked on the window. What the fuck? Am I gonna die? Am I gonna die? There's blood on this rag. Is that- I'm gonna go ward one blood just in case it's already happened. Before we got around. Oh my god. What the fuck? There's so many cams. Uh, we got a- Whatever chair? Probably- Okay, we got locked out. That's fine. Uh, clock is not moving this time. Not this clock. Uh, three posters. Two posters still. Okay, now we're now we're going and now we're go doing our first lap. So we got five jars. Uh, actually, there's something behind that jar. I think that was there. Electrocution. Um. Okay, water in the sink. Or in the bath. I know. I'll, I, when I'm so focused, I I say words wrong. Words escape me. Fifteen candles. You guys said I'm counting on you to count them. I'm counting on. Yes, I just said that. Um, nothing has happened. Metronome? Extra object metronome? This one's so fucking dark. Was it there before? Whatever this is. Oh boy. What the heck? It was? Extra light? Is it extra bright? How am I not seeing anything? Any symbols? It's crazy. Um, are we still running? Out? We are not running out of power unless we use the flashlight. So I shouldn't really look around my room that much. Was there a new object in the bath tub? Was there? I don't think so. This was always there. Or this maybe? Nothing out here. It's just raining. Just raining. This all looks the same. What's that? What is that? Is that new? What the fuck? I don't know what that is. Mike was moving. Mike was moving. Hello? It's not hearing me, right? What is the Mike? Hello? Wait, what? There's like a spirit box? Wait. If I click it, it does a sound. Wait, let's see. Does it say anything about that in the tutorial? Settings, tutorial? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this doesn't do anything. Yeah, we already know this. Don't forget to watch your back. You may not be the only one observing. Yes, thank you. We were we are aware of this fact. Okay, so I don't know what this mic is for. But it makes a noise when I click on it. Uh, come on. This is... We are already in here for f shock therapy, by the way. <laughs> the dev new Twitch chat. Is it brighter here? I swear something's off. It's sound anomalies. If you see it fluctuate, click on it. Okay. Interesting. So someone said it was moving earlier, so I didn't get I didn't catch it, I guess. Oh boy. Two doors. Extra book. Object chair movement? I'm gonna go director's office. Object move. It's probably wrong, but. This blood we already reported. This was open before. I don't know. That's too dark. Hello? Three. Maybe stuff is happening in my room? I don't know, man. This one is fucking crazy. Unless we're really bad, stuff must be happening and we just don't see it. 
Next to the sink in the bathroom, there's a candle. We'll see. We'll look at that when we get there. There's an item here. We could say extra object in the bath. Baths. Just, I mean, we might as well start reporting shit. Random shit. Because I'm not... Is it extra bucket? Oh, those, those are actually trash cans. They're not buckets. But wait. Why are there tra two trash cans? Wait a minute. I'm going to say outside entrance. I'm going to say extra object. Why would there be two? There were always two? What the fuck? Why? That's one too many. Also, this is so weird coming into the room. You're, these are not, I mean, I guess there's some boards here, but this feels so out in the open. And we got all this stuff that's still there. Nothing changed. Nothing changed over here. I feel like we are being terrible. This room is fucked up. You can't make it this dark. I can barely see anything in this room. Is this working? Is so Did I break the game? Because we've also not been getting hunted at all. Lonesome Samson, thank you for the 12 months. Thank you. Footprint? Footprint and shock therapy. No way. Oh my god, you're right. We got something. Okay. Shock therapy. Feet. Let's fucking go. We've done it. Of course, it's the feet. Okay, but we have nothing. Okay, but we got something, though. That That's good. That's good. Okay. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Okay, operating room object movement. <laughs> that was lucky. Lucky that I was looking at that cam. B2. Okay, B2. Door? No. Yes? No? Was that open? <laughs> no? It was open. Okay, I'm actually certified crazy. Certified cuckoo. Uh, there's writing on the wall. Save us! Or writing on the mirror. Bathroom. Save us. Writing. Let's go! B5. Okay, blue is getting ruled out now. I'm gonna get my first attack soon, right? Uh, what the hell? Oh no, this is normal. I was like, is there some symbol on there? Someone knocking? It sounds like it sometimes. Reception looks like it has less. Shock therapy light. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, it just took a while to get to get something to happen. Now we're doing it. Um, excuse me? What the fuck was that noise? It sounded like the power went out. I'm gonna say object movement in my room? Did you- Why is that bed against the wall? <laughs> oh! What is a different ghost? What the fuck? It was just chilling up there. I almost missed it. I was like, did I hear that properly? Okay, okay, good stuff. Light in my room? We're already at 65! Oh yeah, the light went out, no? Yeah, you're right! The light went out. That's what happened. That's what the sound was. Come on, give us something good. Wait, what?! Is that just because of difficulty? Wait, you're actually a liar? Wait, the light was- Also, this is missing. Finally. Finally something I recognize. Holy shit. I felt like I was so useless. D4. It's all blue. This book is gone. There's another missing med book? Oh, you're right. Reception. Uh, object experience. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, before it's already reported. What? It must be object movement then. 
What? It moved over there. Are you fucking kidding me, you asshole? That is so sneaky. That is rude. And Prince as well. Okay, okay, now we're cooking. What? There is definitely something. Oh no, there's an extra book on top of the med book. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck you. That's so rude. There's an extra book on top of it. And then you guys say handprints? Where are the handprints? Okay, there we go. G4. Oh, there. You're right. Uh, reception. Handprints. Okay, baby. Now, what could, could... The text already spotted. I do wish they would... I mean, I guess the removing would be kind of... That's blood writing, I'm telling you. Uh, it's only really applies to people like us, right? Where we're, where people are not paying attention all the time, which I guess they... I feel like there's more lights here this time. Maybe? B6... We're gonna go... What is this room called? It's called Ward 1. Ward 1, lights. There was no candles. What? What? Oh, the door opened. Okay, that's nice. Uh, Ward 1, door opening. Oh, come on. There we go. That is definitely correct. The candles are fucked up, though. No? Missing barrier? Oh, missing barrier! You're right! R2, and then we go Ward 1, missing object. Okay, now it's... Now it's all coming together. Never mind, I'm fucked. <laughs> we will not be sucked this year. God damn it. Extra object in the operating room? This, this moved over here, if you're talking about that. That's not extra. But it might be something else, but let's say. Let's just say operating room. It doesn't hurt to report. It's only 10 seconds. We should really be spamming reports, honestly. Wait, I got it. G5. I sh and you know how I knew I got it? Because I was in my <laughs> in my peripherals. I saw the screen flicker. And I, <laughs> I know that if that happens for you guys, that means we got it correct. We're getting... This is, this is valuable intel. <laughs> You said it for so long, I'm sorry. Bench missing outside? Bench missing? Ah! What the fuck? Nice ass! I'm gonna go this first. I'm gonna go victim limbs. Holy shit! <laughs> The dumpy. <laughs> Ooh, I hate it here. I hate it here. Door opening as well. My location. Door opening. Oh, baby. Now, and then the bench outside. What? What? I'm going to become the joke. That's so stupid! What a liar! B3. Okay, so we got B already. B is one. What a liar. I guess it's just because they were both connected, so they didn't want to give us two for the price of one. But that just doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any goddamn sense. We'll see. Oh, light in the director's office. Let's go. Hey, that's good stuff. I swear this missed. Okay, G G6. Now nah, we're cooking. This door did not open. No. Is that something over there? The curtain is gone, but it, the object disappearance didn't... Unless it moved. Wait, maybe it moved. Maybe it moved instead. Oh, it moved! That's rude! So it moved from this side to this side to that side. Hi, right, Becky, have a good one. You're going? You're dying? Don't die. Uh
What? What? Hammer, thank you for the gifts of the slasher. Uh, handprint's still there. I mean, obviously. What the hecky decky? Was that, was that the door opening? Maybe it was just delayed or something. There's limbs outside on the roof? Oh yeah, what the fuck? You guys are good at this. Okay, nice. Can you scroll up in this, by the way? Oh yeah, you can. Very slowly. R3. Come on. Um, that thing moved. Director's office. Object movement. I don't know if that's true, but I'm doing it. Um, yeah, this room does not look the same. It's a uh, light. I like it better like this, honestly. Uh, ward one light. Please have it stay like this. Wait. Oh, I, I didn't report it. Camera distortion? Is it a camera distortion? Oh my god. Don't you fucking even... You asshole. They definitely gotta... If there's one thing that this game lacks, it's like... The menus are all looking like they were made for like a flash game. They definitely need some work. Um, uh, baths. Uh, it's a little dark in there, unless it's camera malfunction again. Nope, definitely just lights. Okay, good shit. R six, getting closer. The limbs are still there. Extra candle in the bathroom. I'm pretty sure. They would really do that. They would really go one extra tiny candle. Whispering in the bathroom. Whispering in the bathroom. Is that audio threat? Audio help? Is that audio help? I don't know, man. Oh, let's go. It was audio threat. Okay. Nice. Nice. I like that as well, because of the way this game is made, they do a lot of anomalies that only show up for a little bit, and then if you miss them, you just miss them, because they can give you more anomalies later on. That's actually really neat. Also, we're running out of power. Shark therapy cabinets. Get away from me, oh god. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Cabinet? Wasn't that always open? We can just do it, though. Oh, he came to attack me. Oh, boy. Wait, that was one! Okay, let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Well spotted. Um... I don't know, man. Zero percent? Uh-oh, we need to go fast now. This is the time. The next attack, we're dead as hell. Oh, uh, boy. This is still looking weird, but that's just because this moved. The battery is dead. So I can't look around my own room anymore, either. Is something in my own room? Is there, like, object... You know what? I'm gonna go... My location, I'm gonna do fucking... Uh... Object movement. I don't know, man. Maybe. Light? What's this? Okay, that did not work. Bathroom door open. Shock therapy door open. <laughs> Bathroom door open? This door we already got, right? Successfully more data needed. Okay. Reception? I'm gonna go reception. This doesn't make any sense, but I'm gonna go door manipulation here. Weird wall at the entrance. Broken wall, you mean? That's fine. And I don't know. What's with... Bathroom symbol, we already got that. Entrance, we already got the roof. Symbol in the toilet, we already did that. 
Unless, oh no, no, there's a new one. Never mind. This is harder because I have to filter out the old things and the new things. Yes, there's a symbol. Doors are opening everywhere. What the fuck? Excuse me. Oh, this door? Uh, operating room also? Operating room, door opening. Oh, come on. Wait. Oh, it's four? It's four on red? And then this one is either... No further possibilities! I missed one! Uh-oh. I missed one. G2? G2 was also ruled out? Did I not see that one? G2, I missed that one! It's four and one! Four on red. One on green. Uh-oh. And then blue is one. It's four, one, one. I did it. Are they? I thought I fucked it up for a second. That took so long. That's a different monster from the from the previous one. And we did it faster, even though it felt like the first 10 minutes. I was just doing absolutely nothing. That was crazy. All right. Let's do... Before we do Nightmare on one of these maps, let's do the UMB Labs on normal mode. And then we've done all the maps. Actually, yeah, this is cool. Oh, God. There's a face hugger. <laughs> a face hugger. Okay. Uh, we got a cat litter box. We got whatever machinery this is. Okay, where am I? Door po door power? It's now truly turning into FNAF. Excuse me? Oh my, it's true. It's just FNAF. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't want, I don't want to fucking get jumped by animatronics. No, thank you. Uh, per my personal panic button for if I want to close my doors. Okay, we got lots. Let's just look uh, through this. We have, man, the low-hanging fog, though. We got a bunch of microscopes. Uh, a lot of whatever this is. Like, jars of, I don't know what's in there. What the fuck are you doing here? There's so many items. How the fuck are we supposed... What kind of monster is that? Is that a centipede? That's huge. You got so... This is a fucking drugs lab. We got a bunch of drugs. We got a huge leech on the ground. Holy fuck, there's too many. Oh, there's only... No, there's only seven? But there's so many objects in them. The fog really makes it difficult. We got a trash bag. Um, this is the Heisenberg factory. And then we're back. Okay. This is so much shit. So we got five of these. Check. You have three or four things. Got a laptop. Got some computer screens. I need to look around my place more. I need to close the doors now? I have a cam out there? <laughs> so this cam is for the left door and then this is for the right door? This is weird, man. Okay, sampling. How are we gonna count this? Do we just truly count this? Three, four, three, four, four. Uh, three, four, four, that's doable. Three, four, four, two. Three, four, four, two, two. Two, two, three, four, four. Doable. Uh, we have two, three. Uh, blood, storeroom. Okay, nice. Fuck you. Fuck you, man. This thing is definitely going to disappear at some point. It looks so shiny. It looks like candy. Two, three. This on its side? It was always on its side, I'm guessing. Oh, light in the sampling room? Oh, okay. Not How was it so hard last time? Did we just get, like, super difficult anomalies? Because we are doing it. B3. Boom. Um, there's a P jar. 
Blood again. Uh, everything here is just abandoned and on the ground. This is a mess. Were there two leeches before? Were there two leeches? Wait a minute. I think I think there might be an extra process, processing, extra object. Maybe. Maybe not. But let's see. It was always there. At least we know now. At least we know now. Okay, we know there's two leeches. Um. Okay. Pay very close attention. The litter box still there, or it's not? Oh, light in West Lab. What the hell? We're getting the easiest. It's one, right? Yes. One. I'll take these. The fog is crazy, I know. Uh, more data needed. Stop it! Too much data needed. Contamination. Wait, was there something over here? It feels like there must be something missing out here, no? I need to stay hydrated. Where's my... Oh, no, there it is. Extra object, West Lab 2. Let's look. Um. Little trash bag? I mean, I can just report it. Check the doors. I can just report it. Uh, West Lab 2 extra object, because it doesn't really matter. I don't know if it loses you power or something. Do I have to look at the cams? There's always two bags. Yep, yeah, there's always two. What the fuck? Holy shit. <laughs> well then. <laughs> oh, don't tell me it's gonna be. Okay, R1. Thank you. I was like, don't tell me it's gone already. Three, four, four. Two. Up tops. These rooms, like, what would they do here? Would they really add some random item in the fog? There's no way. There were three? There were three here before. Server farm? This is why you gotta count. Uh-oh. Close the door? I don't know, man. We got it? Before... Let's go. That's how it's done. This one is a mess. Yeah, this one reminds me of FNAF as well. Like with the doors. That is very FNAF-ish. Um, five nights at observation duty. Um, this is still the same. This... Three, four, four thing. That was one extra, but it's now same. The blood already reported. What could be changing here? We got chair. We got chairs. Four items on the ground here. Four, th two, three. Yes. Missing items in the servers. Processing. Has stuff on the ground, which I guess it always did. Server, we already got this one. We're talking about that. There's extra laptop in the servers? There's like a bajillion things. There are a lot of things. Blood on the floor. Wait, blood on the floor here? Excuse me? I heard something. I heard a light switch, I think. Kitty litter looking icky. I don't think that's... I think that's some kind of goop. Some kind of goop. At least I'm not... Oh, what the fuck are you doing there? Okay. Um, server farm entity sighting. <laughs> well, hello there. The Joe Todd, thank you for the nine months. Does that mean he attacks me as well? Uh, G2? Okay. Sleep paralysis demons be like, this door? I'm guessing that was always open, but I'm going to report it and all this. I'm going to report it all the same. What happens if I click the escape? Yep. Okay, well, I'm fucked up. Funny monkey, thank you for the eight months.
My good god. Turva, I think you have the gifts up as well. These these maps make me so anxious. There's so much to look at, it just makes me overwhelmed. Three, four, four, two there, two there. Two laptops, three laptops. Sound? Where? I did not hear it. Even though I have a headset on. Server room object movement. I mean, I'm just going to report that. That's not the right one. I don't know if that's correct. Sampling. We haven't been attacked yet, right? That was not correct. Blood. Yeah, yeah. The server. Or unless it's different. I really do. Oh. Oh my god. There? No fucking way. They really got to get rid of this. With the fog, that's insanely bullshit. Excuse me. What? What do you mean? Help? Is that audio? Is that audio? In my room? That's not a thing. Is it server farm audio threat? No. What the hell was that? Figgy, thank you for the 10 gifts. Or 10 months, thank you. Uh, what? I'm so confused. Oh. What is this? Am I being attacked right now? What? Audio something, that's for sure. Audio gore? What the fuck? I don't understand, man. Is this the, the monster coming closer to attack me? Is that what's happening? Oh, hi! Um, I'm glad I kept the door locked. Okay, that's what that means. Oh, you can see him on the camp too. Okay, then. I see. So that is all just the, the monster starting to wind up an attack. Okay. All those sound effects. Jam, that, that really <laughs> tripped me out. Because I did not know what I was doing. Uh, don't look at the machine. Blood in the server farm again. I can't believe they really did this. This blood right here, which you can barely see. Oh. It's like fucked up. Okay, R2. Sampling, there's writing. What the fuck? Okay, then. Um, I'm gonna say this audio threat real quick. Plotter uh, Yuli, thank you for the... <laughs> thank you for the five gift subs. Okay, and then there's writing over there. I don't know what it says. Uh, sampling, writing. What does it say? What the fuck? R3? Was that another one? Was that another threat? Dude, this, what the hell is going on? <laughs> no, it's wrong. Uh oh. The blood, the blood, we already got these. Yeah, this is wild. I'm true queen, thank you for the 22 months on Fizu. Thank you for the biddies. Thank you, thank you. Okay, this, this, there must be something in West Lab. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying fucking object disappearance. Uh, why? What's love?
Let me go. Oh, he's coming. He's attacking again. We need to prepare to close the door. Why do we not see him in the cam? What? Oh, he's super close. Hi there. Okay, uh, whatever. Uh, R4. Can you get the hell out of here? You piece of garbage. Is he ever going to attack the left door? I'm going to open it right away. Okay. You scared the shit out of me. I'm running out of door power, man. I'm fucked. Uh oh. R4, we already got that? Okay, come on. We have so much to do. We're like halfway and we have no power. Wait, this is actually fucked up. Oh my goodness. West Lab 1, camera malfunction. <laughs> nice. Okay, come on. Don't know more data needed, you fuck. Why already reported anything else here? Two, three, that's the same. Okay then. Um, hello, sampling. Why are you so fucked up? Hands in the storeroom? R6? Okay, we got R5. Storeroom? Hands? Where? Oh. Is he coming from the left this time? Left up. Oh, yeah, you're right. What the hell? That's so sneaky. Man, this map is just hard because it's so dark. You're totally right. G1? Okay. Good, good, good. We're getting a bunch of stuff for free. Without having to double report. Very much appreciated. Oh, processing. Oh, he's coming here. Wait, is he? I saw him. Woo, baby. Did that work? That did not work. Get the fuck out of here. My power! My power! Go away. As soon as he starts walking, I'm gonna have to open the door. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. He doesn't give a shit. Okay. Come on, come on. We gotta go fast. I think we can't even defend the next attack. Uh, light and sampling? Okay, okay, okay. Come on, we have so much left to do. Fuck you. Extra chair and server. What really? Really? Moved? Dude, this is fucked. I can barely see this thing. It's in, it's in complete darkness. What the hell? That's messed up, man. Uh, there's someone underneath the desk as well. Hello. They really gotta up the brightness or give you at least a brightness setting. Come on. More. Oh, G3. Okay, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. A uh, leg in West Lab 2. Nice. Fucking leg in the sink. Give me some. Don't tell me. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting there. Orb in West 1. I'm just going for it. Oh, God. Don't look at the machine. Machine. Uh, blah, 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 nothing. He's coming soon. Uh, the entity sighting in West Lab 1. Shadow. Oh, no. No! I'm dead as hell! Ah, what? 
Oh my god, he left so fast. Holy shit. Holy shit, we did it. We get, we got one more. Next time we're dead as fuck. We just gotta go for a report. Is that extra on the ground? Is that a fucking baby? What is, is that? Is that something? Oh god. Ah! Get something. Just... It's been there? Oh, fuck me. Okay. Um, first... You can't. West Lab 1 sync reported? Yeah, of course. Or West Lab 2? Wait, West Lab 1? What sync? What's here? West Lab 2, I think you're talking about. Light? He's he can't be coming already. Come on. And on the cabinet, we already got that one. Um, body under there. Sighting and sampling? Is that blood? Is that a blood circle here? Or am I just seeing light? That was also wrong. Uh, server farm? Light. Let's go. Server farm lighting. It's so important now. Because if we're going to have to guess, this is going to reduce it massively. The chance of us failing. Come on. G4? Okay. G5 as well. So now we just have to guess G1. Or I'm just going to put it on one. Just in case we have to guess. Running on the wall. We've already done. Um... Maybe something in my room. Wait a minute. Oh, no. I don't see it. Maybe, maybe, there's nothing obvious. Maybe extra object in, in my... I have to go! No. Well, here goes nothing. So, one in three. Uh-oh. Slap me in the face and then eats my in <laughs> Excuse me. Holy shit. Okay, that actually that extra gameplay added to that makes it so much more intense The door messed us up man. Okay, so let's pay very close attention to anything that might be different from how we had it last time So this is on its side that baby thing is still there. Obviously no writing and crazy stuff. None of these are opened um this was very empty, always. Brighten up. I couldn't brighten up my own monitor, but I can't. Can I do that? Let me see. The uh, picture. I already said it's a max brightness. What the hell, man? The blood circle is there. Yes. Okay, we got two here, two there. Two, three, four, four, two. All of that was just the way I... Oh, wow, there was like a whole box missing here. Okay, then. Check my room. Clever. Uh, maybe extra trash cans? This is an empty room. We can remember this, right? We get two, whatever the fuck that is. Microscope. These microscopes remind me of, like, high school. Biology class. Extra yellow hazard bag. We could have gotten it closer. We could have gotten like a... I mean, we would have still gone for one, probably. So, I, we probably would have gotten it wrong still. But, would have been closer. Okay, man. Some of these are real fucked up. Like, the fact that they hide stuff in the smoke is real rude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a zoom. Zoom. Oh my god, it starts off with more data needed, you bitch. Okay, sampling. I was like, where's the door opening? Sampling, door opening. Nice. Okay, we can definitely save a little bit of power so we can defend. Because I didn't do the doors properly. If I do the doors optimally, 
I think we get to have another defense. Like, we can defend one more time than we did before. Also, up there, there's a little jar. Uh, this is all the same. This? Four in here? Nothing really changed in here, which was surprising. Cabinet open in the storeroom. There's nothing open here? I don't think so. I mean, this door might be open, but... Oh, wait, that? Yeah, wait a minute. Is that always so the way? Let's just try it, because there's nothing to lose. G4? It was open? All right, at least we... We no take took note of it. Symbol? What's lab one? That's a sneaky one. Uh, let me report. There we go. Okay. Just a tiny little symbol. And G6. Okay. We get two two back to back. Very good. Three four four. Everything's still. Any blood back there? You guys gotta have to look for this blood, man. I'm too bad. I can see the chair, but the blood was, like, almost invisible for me. <clears throat> it's crazy. Maybe if I angle my monitor downwards more? I can't do that because my camera's in the way. This thing not changing messed me up. I was looking at that every time we went to that cam. Also stuff over here. Light in server farm and a door somewhere. And door. Where's the door? Sampling? No, that door we already reported, right? Oh, no. Body in the store storeroom? Server door? What did we get? More data! Something opened. Was it West Lab 2? Was this door is this door closed or open now? Sampling door we already reported. This? Or is it my room? Huh? What the fuck is moving? Hello? Doors are opening. Yet, yeah, where are they? Blood in the storeroom? Wait, where? Oh, back there, maybe? Server room back door. Oh, you're right! Holy fuck. Oh, yeah, there's a door back there. I didn't even see that. Holy shit, that's sneaky. Okay, but there's two doors. You guys said blood here? Is this blood in the store? What other door opened? Would cabinets make that sound? Is there an extra bag here? There's two. Wait, is that extra? I think it's an extra object in front of the things. What the hell is that? I don't think that was there before. Was that there before? It, oh, it was there? Okay, well, fuck me then. I'm wrong. I'm incorrect. I fucked it up. It's fine. Uh, where's the other door? Is this the door? I'm gonna say processing. I'm gonna say processing door manipulation. Would that really make that sound, though? I don't know, but let's give it a shot. Okay, it's also wrong. <laughs> I mean, we gotta try. Because something is opened. Two- we heard two door opening noises, and we've only reported one of them. Sampling we already reported. Let's just do West Lab 1. Door, and then we'll do West Lab 2 as well. Because it's got to be somewhere, right? Unless it was a bait noise, which would be very rude. Oh, boy. Symbol and server farm? What the fuck is happening? What the heck are these doors? I feel like I'm getting trolled. Huh? <laughs> Look, I'm going insane. Sampling we already we already reported. 
are six. Let's go. All of the sixes are gone. We might as well just report them again. Because maybe there's a bug in the game where it does the door on the same door. Maybe. Nope. Or at least not for that one. Like it does the door sound on the same door twice. We're getting so many symbols this time. And nothing here changes. Nothing ever changes. I feel like I'm going cray cray. Three, four, four. Handprint? Oops. The darker. Handprint in. Where? I don't know. Server room? Something extra object here? This? Left open processing. You guys are fucking insane at this. Oh my god! How the fuck? You guys are going sicko mode. Blood! Let's go. Blood in storeroom. Storeroom blood. Very good. We get another one. And we haven't been attacked a single time yet, right? Very good. Chat is cracked. Um. Wait, what's on the ground here? Footsteps! Oh my god, I'm insane! Does that mean he's activated? Does that mean he activates? I think that might mean he activates. He's angry. Oh, he's coming. Oh, yeah. That's what that means. It means he starts attacking you. So now, now shit gets real. Uh, uh, monster, entity, and server farm. Nice. V2. Oh, baby. I feel like we're doing much better than last time. Writing and processing. Uh, entity in West Lab. I don't know if that counts. I don't think it does. I think he's just coming to attack. Oh, boy. He's close. Uh, entity in processing. Let's go. Oh! Oh! Too close. Too close, man. What's up? Okay. Hey! You have never attacked from the side last time. That's rude. Leave. 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 I'm opening immediately. I don't give a shit. Bye. Okay. That's fine. We didn't lose that much door power. We can definitely stop it or stop it many times. Is it extra red? Is that red crate? Wait, red crate on the floor? Oh! What the fuck? Holy shit, we're getting entities out the wazoo. There's an extra thing on the ground. You're... Before. And then... What's lab 2? Is that extra? I don't know if that's extra, but I'm gonna do it. I think so. On the ground here? Come on. It's gonna be G2. Okay, now we're cooking. We're knocking him up. Door opening. Processing. Processing. Door open. Holy shit. Let's go. Blood? Chair? No? Okay, more data. Wait. Is that door? Storeroom. I'm gonna say storeroom. Door. Because that door is open. I don't know if it was open from the beginning. Oh my god. It was. These fucking leech. At least, I mean, those would be. Those disappearing, I would actually be able to spot because I paid attention to those. Um, 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 the blood already obviously reported. Sign on cabinet. Yeah, we already did that one, I'm pretty sure. 
This is new. Check my room. Missing up. Oh! Fucking booty man is back. Holy shit. Oh no. I'm waiting. Got him! Eat shit. B3? Okay, we got. We got so. We're doing so well. That was great. Didn't lose much power at all. Okay, that door's still open. Anything else besides Booty Man? Don't think so. Don't think so. Okay. Um. Now what else? Door? What? I feel like it's opening the same doors. Like, there's no fucking way we wouldn't see it. Processing room writing? Blind. Where? What? Red box? In processing room? Server farm? Wait, the box changed? Oh yeah, it's in the fucking box. It crawls. Holy shit. How do you even... Jeebus. <laughs> That's freaking wild. Is there blood here? No, I have to like angle my to get a better angle on the screen so I can see the it's fucking Storeroom entity. Sorry. I was too distracted by everything. Oh entity in the West lab too. Storeroom entity West lab two West lab one Uh R4 holy shit. We're going crazy mode What the hell? That was sick. Uh, he's coming to the right this time, I think. Okay. Okay. That was a lot of reports. He's coming from this side again. He, every every time he comes to the left, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting until I see him, and we close. We save so much power for that, and then I need to wait for you to go. Get out of here. I love how you can open it immediately. He just gives up. He's like, fuck this. Uh, okay. Okay. Focus. Uh, my eyes every time. I'm so focused that it just goes like fucking blasts you. I like that it reports so quick. R2. Okay. Okay. We have, wait, we have R, we have green three as well. Wait, that's green two. We have green three. Blue one. We only need two more, and then we got it. That's doable. Uh, light in processing? Yes. That was dark. Come on, give us one. Oh, more data. The blood in the storeroom? Did we report that one? We did. Yes. We're just making sure we did. Okay. Oh boy. It's going again. Dude, this guy is freaking chain chain hunting. This symbol symbol already got. Is this extra? No, right, but I'm doing it. Entity two west. West two entity? Sure. Wait, did I get that? Let's try. There could still be a door open somewhere, by the way. Okay, I'm, shit's all wrong. Oh, hi there. <laughs> There's a bo fucking body in my room. <laughs> well then, There's another one for the collection. Uh, Your location, body. What's up, buddy? How you doing? R1? Okay. Come on. Entity is sampling! Wait, this could be it. 
This could be it. Oh no, he's gone. I did it too early, but whatever. Uh, it's fine. Cause we get it, R3! It's five, three, one. Five, three, one. <laughs> Hopefully. No? Fuck, what the heck? <laughs> Hello? You can't do that? Hey, that was a speed run. Holy shit, 17 minutes and 50 seconds? That was so much faster than last time. Okay, so what I am really curious about is what if you put it up to Nightmare? So where do we do that? I feel like we got the labs we have under control, but we did the labs just now. Let's go back to the original location and just see what nightmares like. Like what what does nightmare mean? Does that mean you get a million different things? Let's see. You guys remember this location? Welcome back. Uh no, we can't do that on labs. We just we did labs two times in a row. We gotta do a different place. I just wanna see what nightmare looks like, what it does. I did five eight one. Well, I got the thing correct. I did it. So I, whatever I feel, they must correct. Let's go ramp. Thank you for the two months. Okay. Uh, my room is still the, still the same. Oh boy. Are we going to be attacked nonstop? Let's see. We have a bunch of graves everywhere. I know that this says path, but there's also graves. So I don't know. We had orbs here at one point that I didn't see. I remember that. This move back. The knife is there. There was a small ball that that showed up. Rocking chair. All these shadows are so sharp. Uh, blood in the path. Path, blood. Okay, easy peasy. It's gonna, yeah. It, now it's gonna be very tough to get anything, probably. Um. This one's pretty bright too. I like this. you can actually see stuff here. Harder, but might there be maybe a harder punish on wrong guesses? I don't know. Let's let's not do random wrong guess attested. We're gonna guess a, we're gonna have a wrong guess later on, regardless. What's the lamp there already? I mean, I guess it's good to know. Let's let's do let's do a wrong guess just to see if it like breaks. Maybe it says like twenty seconds. Nope, only ten seconds still. I guess it's really more attacking, mostly. Or maybe harder anomalies. That's good, though. That's good to know that you don't freaking instantly die. Um. Yeah, this is like ghost hunting slash FNAF slash... Obviously, observation duty is the main genre. Uh, shed. Nice. It definitely feels like you're a, it, it, instead of like observation duty where it requires you to see everything. This one definitely feels more like you feel a little bit more out of control because in observation duty very fast. You can feel like, okay, I'm literally reporting every single thing, but because some of these rooms are so fucked up, uh, you can't really report everything. Um, and you feel like you're missing all the stuff all the time. There's a footprint on their chest, you say? We finally got our first one after three reports. Holy shit. That is fucked up. Uh. Someone... What? I heard that. What was that? Footprints in the shed. Huh? Really? Sure, I guess. I don't know. I don't see it. But you guys, on the chest. Is it a footprint? No, it's not. That's just a freaking amp. That's just some, I don't know, tape. Uh... And I like, too, that some of them are uh, short, so you have to catch them when they happen. So you can't just, like, be chilling all the time. 
you have to actually be paying attention to the cam so you don't so you get extra anomalies. Okay, more data, obviously. Extra object in the path. I'm like, gonna need everyone. This is what's gonna be hard here is that eventually there'll be so many things stacked on top of each other that <laughs> it's gonna be like everyone's gonna be saying, oh, there's blood there, there's blood here, there's blood there, but we've already reported all of them. Symbol on the bench. I don't see it at all. This bench? Previous cam? Oh, you're right! Torch. Nice. Well done. Okay, go back to here. Um, nothing. No shovel movement. Here it should be fairly obvious. Did we get anything? <gasps> we got it four. Let's go to... This is going to feel much more... Like, here we're going to have to master it. Like, we need to get all of them. Because otherwise... The monster's going to attack too much and we're going to run out of flashlight. Graveyard extra object? Where? What? Why? Okay, symbol. If I check my own room? I'm not going to really check my own room because it raced flashlight. And flashlight is very valuable. I guess f flashlight also runs out over time though, but still. Does it waste flashlight? Maybe maybe it doesn't actually. Maybe it's just based on time. It might not. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Graveyard extra object. What the hell? Okay, we'll report it. I don't know what it is, but... Just don't know it. But I'll, I'll give you a shot. It was correct! I don't know what the fuck it was, but you were... Extra gravestone? Oh my god, that's so sneaky. Like this one, maybe? That is very sneaky of... Okay. That one was there last time, too, and I did not report it at all. Um... Was this so close together? Okay. Put on the doll, maybe? This is already there. Come on. You get so little data here. Extra object on the picnic table. Small little thing. Is this thing? I'm gonna do it. Uh, which is path. Path, extra object. I don't know if that's the case, but we're reporting it regardless, because we need to be on top of everything. Let's see. Nope. Wrong. Wrong. Ball gone. Ball gone and shed. Where the fuck did my ball go? Shed. Object disappearance. Or it's object movement, maybe. Oh, it's not there anymore. It's gone. I want it back. Oh, baby. R4. One on each. No attack yet, though. No attacks yet. Something just appeared on the path. Oh, the, the, the axe moved. Let's go. It moved from the suitcase to the bench. Right? Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, that costs power. When you do that, maybe. I don't know. Wait, why did you turn on your flashlight? I wasn't there. Okay. Did we get one? We got R6. Okay. We just keep it. Keep at it. Can we really only stop three attacks? Are you kidding me? You're crazy. Then we really got to pay more close attention to the room. If it doesn't waste our power. Um... I don't know, man. Last time there was like a mannequin that showed up instead of the plant over there. I don't think this is going to help. I think looking at these are mu it's much more effective use over time. Symbol on the bench. We already reported that. This axe. It's, it, the fact that everything stays throws me off so much. I 
on the rock behind the car. Why? Oh my god, hi there! <laughs> I was looking so close all of a sudden, I'm like, what the hell is that? Okay then. Okay then. Come on. Something. Give me something to work with here. More data needed. Suck my pickle. Door open on the porch. No. Just... Or these? I don't know. It was open? I think so. But I'm just reporting it because it doesn't matter. Wait, it was correct! What? This door's not open. I'm so confused. You're crazy? I don't even know what the fuck. Maybe it opened a little more? I don't know. It was slightly open. And oh, the door is slightly open. Okay. That is sneaky as hell. One hammer, maybe? Shed object disappearance? Did a hammer disappear? Were there always three hammers? Probably. Oh, I was wrong. Always three hammers. Okay. Three books. Plate. Everything. Check, check. Come on, something. Something attack us. Can't live in the silence. There are always two hammers. You mean three hammers. Extra red object in driveway. See it when we get there? That? No way. I mean, unless it's been there for the whole time. Because it's been there for so long. The tiny ball is in the shed. No, it's not. It's always... The ball was already disappeared. We already reported that. The door closed further in the shed. You're right. The door was more open before. Nice. Okay. Keep it rolling. We need to, like, wait very long before we look back in our own room. Because it's only one cam, right? It would be not worth... More books again? Four books in the... In the porch? Alright, while we are... Oh, uh, hi there. Okay. Uh... Give me some. B2. And then my room. Extra object. Nice. That's good. Wait, I got two in a row? Let's fucking go. Insane. Yeah, that's good. Car door opened. Oh, yeah, it did. Man, we are better. We are, we are doing the observation duty thing. We're optimizing. Shovel moved. The shovel moved. Uh, graveyard, object movement. Defense thing. Thank you for the six months. Okay, okay, okay. That's a lot of stuff we're getting. B4. We're like halfway. Which is... I mean, I think we're on track for beating it, but... Definitely gotta stay on guard. Should book in the shed. I don't think so, but I'm gonna do it. Blood on grave? Okay, blood on grave. Is that wrong? That was wrong. Alright, blood on grave, we'll do that after. Um, blood on grave. Is this blood also extra, or is that always there from the start? I actually don't know. You're st Oh, we're down to 30. We can really only stop him like three times. What the fuck? That's crazy. Anything extra here? Oh my god, more data needed. We're, we gotta step it up. Is that extra? Driveway? Is it? It is. R3. Okay, let's go. Would it have killed us if he didn't flash it? Yes. Come on. 
This can be done. Is that a symbol? That's a symbol. What the fuck? You're so sneaky. Symbol on a path. Hey, Auntie, what's up? Yes, this is a new game. It's not even out yet. Um. Where, 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 where? This one we already got. Come on. This one was fucked up, man. I'm so focused. Is it, yeah, it is exactly what I've been asking for. It's definitely... So, I mean, I hope to see more games like this. Because it's not, a, like, entirely... Like, I still want a game that does more with the, like... Because what's kind of interesting... Like, imagine being in Phasmo. And you're in the truck. What kind of... Like, and someone put cameras in every room. Like, the type of... St what the fuck? The type of stuff you'd see. And then extra stuff added on top of that, obviously. But, like... Ghost events, uh, maybe like you can you can plan tools somehow. You can put like an EMF somewhere. I don't know how it will work exactly, but that's why I don't want to make it myself. I want to have other people make it and then play it. Because <laughs> this is kind of like this is definitely in the like direction of that, where they like, uh, where you have to report enough, you have to get enough information from what's happening to rule out, uh. The ghost type, I guess, to a certain degree, and then and then activate the device, right? Symbol on stone behind the car. Um, I, someone else said that too, so I'm gonna try that. No, nope, it was wrong. It was incorrect. My my door is open more. Let's try my door. I actually scared shit out of me. Oh boy, come on. It's an extra book still there. That was also wrong. Oh my goodness, we're getting fucked. I really don't understand what this is, man. I, I guess it's why you can click it. That, that's what I mean. I feel like we're fucked. How do I get this game? I The devs just sent me a key. That's how I got it. I haven't actually spoken to the devs beside that. I'm bad at emails. I just play video games. Hi there, uh, you're still hanging out. But I think it's coming out like very soon. It's coming out this October at least, so. I think they want to release it for the, there's like some uh, some Steam scare fest or something where they're gonna release a bunch of horror games. And that's what this game is gonna come out at that time too. Um. Right, extra on the porch? Sure thing. Porch, extra object. Oh, no, we already did that. I know what you're talking about. Um, Because this one we already got. Come on. Fuck! We're actually getting doomed. Why? Are we not, like... Are you supposed to, su to see everything? Like, what if it's, like, my room extra object? I don't know, man. Uh, handprints? In the shed? Blood on gravestones already reported. Blood in the tire swing? No, this is red light. Blood on graves already reported, guys. Oh, we need more data. Come on, man. Driveway lighting? This plant's always there. The handprints we just reported. Oh boy. The wood fence is more broken now. Them in path next to the water tab. No, that's just things. Mailbox open on the porch. What the fuck? No, maybe that was what opened? I don't know, man. Grave door moved. There's a door here. Oh, yeah, it did. You're right. Nice. Nice. Come on. Give us something. 
Give us the red one. Oh my god, you need so much fucking data. Blood, more blood. Path. There's double blood. Object disappearance and path. Okay, B5. We got B3. Okay, nice. Um. Object disappearance driveway? I don't fucking know, man. X moved? Yeah, we already did that. Footprint on driveway. You're right. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is that done? We have zero power! Oh, fuck! Okay, okay, this is it. Uh, footprints on driveway. This is it. This is where we gotta go sicko mode. We have one, two, three, four more to rule out. Come on, give us one. Don't extra data. Fuck! Come on. The sucky part is now I can't look around my room either. So I'm just gonna go my room object movement. I don't fucking care. Okay. Now we got a symbol on the portrait. We already got that one. If there's one thing that makes this like... Very different from other ones. It's that that it, most obvious ones people like We have already reported and people keep seeing them over and over again, which kind of makes the the other ones harder to find Object missing on the porch or move on the porch again Object movement here I heard that something fell the mailbox we on mailbox. It's gonna lock us out though, right? Ah! Now we're getting fucked. I should be paying more attention to what stuff is actually happening. Book on the driveway. Oh, wait, is that extra? Was that always there? More blood on the path already reported. Graveyard doors closed. Already reported! G3. Okay. Nice. Come on. More. The blood can still show up, but it's not here. Come on, man. I'm gonna go porch door. Because people set that again. But it might just be the same thing. It's gonna be so fucking sneaky, yes. It was not correct. Okay. Um, 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 um. There's no ball in the shed that was like ages ago, but yeah, we did report that. Another blood pathway already reported. Guys, please pay attention. I, I already said that like seven times. I mean, you might have just come in, but you answered that question as if you were watching for a while. Graveyard shovel move. Yes, we know. Limbs! Shed. Okay. Oh my god! Come on. We can't do it. We can't bring it down to like a... Like we can't... We can have a pretty decent shot at it. Although we're probably still going to get unlucky. And the fact that you need so much more is kind of crazy. Writing on the grave. I don't see it. Legs in the shed. I literally reported it. I already did! Graveyard gate, yes. Extra footprint, extra footprint. There was already three footprints, always. Unless it's in a different spot this time. I don't see writing on the grave, by the way. Extra cup on the path. Maybe? Let's do that. Come on, we need one more. We need some, at least to get one more number so we can, oh my god, we're locked out again. Fuck this. Blood in my room. I don't know what's happening in my room. I can't report my own room anymore because I don't have the flashlight. I should have definitely checked before he attacked another time. That's my fault. Come on. Do we have a good guess? Do we do 1-1? One, one? That would be our guess in case it attacks right now. Right. That was here. Driveway. Driveway is something threat. Come on. G1! Okay, not G1. G2 instead. <laughs> oh, boy. 
It's a 25% chance. Oh, boy. Come on, man. Something moved in my room. I already tried that. I could try object mis disappearance. Come on. We need, like, three more with... Two more with good luck. Okay, my... Hand on the truck window? It's not a hand. Sparksy, thank you for the eight months. Body already reported. Yeah, I know I keep repeating myself, but like, if I don't repeat myself, people are gonna be like, Oh my god, how is he not seeing this very obvious thing? Because it's so obvious we already reported it. That's why I have- Oh, there's a footprint in the graveyard. Let's go. Oh my god. Touch- don't touch the machine. Okay, please. More data! No! More fucking data! Second blood already reported. <laughs> oh boy. Come on. Come on. One more with good luck. I'm just gonna- this is- I mean, it's just I have to rely more on my own skill, which I've actually been doing reason, reasonably well, but it's really, really hard. Running on door and shed. I don't see it. Ah! I'm dead. Come on. Are we gonna die? Oh boy, I don't think we... There's nothing obvious anymore. Let's, let's go! Graveyard? No, come on. Come on, give us one. Fif make it a 50-50. Yes! Okay, five, right? So now it's a 50-50. I'm gonna go for five. Cause la one has failed me every time. So it's five, five, three. Okay, if we get something, we gotta have to report that. Ah! I'm gonna go extra object path. I don't know, but I have a feeling. Grave missing? Wait, that was correct! Entity in the driveway? I didn't see it, but let's go! Come on! Come on. Let's go! It was correct! Fucking report that bitch! Get out of here! <laughs> Holy shit! Woo! Oh my god. That was tough, man. Holy shit. <laughs> Okay, that's intense. I wonder if stuff changed in my own room. 27 minutes because of the real high difficulty. Well, well, well. I didn't even get another... Uh, ex uh, get, in, get, like, any uh, special trophy for that. Wait, does it, like, say it? Oh, yeah. Nightmare. So it, it has different, like, stats. Uh, if you want to get different times or different uh, personal bests. Yeah, definitely can improve these two. But anyway, I think they give you a good indication of this game obviously they're gonna add more locations and maybe some more uh spooky events as well the the ghosts are definitely have a way to attack you but it feels like once you get a hang of it it feels kind of contrived like that you once i realized that the flashlight ran out because the ghost attacked me that kind of meant like you just have a straight up time limit right there's not really skill i mean it's definitely still skill based you're gonna find them quickly but yeah, uh, really overwhelming. More overwhelming than an observation duty game because there is so much fucking shit on every cam that you can't possibly like get that. Because in observation, maybe eventually, but like an observation duty, eventually you have like a mental model of every single cam. And then if something changes, it's just like you just dig into that model and you just know what, what changed. But here you kind of have to like... I don't know, it was too much for me to really grasp that quickly. Maybe over time you will. But yeah, that is 
the uh, first game like this that I hope we'll see more of. I hope we'll see more uh, ghost hunting style observation duties that maybe bring a bit of FNAF in there as well. Because as soon as you start doing stuff with cams, people always assume it's FNAF um, as well. Which I definitely think I want to see more of that. So yeah, let me know what you think. Would love to hear your opinion. I hope you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the Love the Gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim. Every single day at 7 p.m. Central European time. Thank you very much for watching. I love you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Bye, guys. Bye-bye-bye. Alrighty. Alrighty. Well, that was very nice. I'm... I... I definitely what would would have liked to see a little bit more ghost hunt in there but it was definitely uh like more in the direction that i wanted to than like regular observation duty now i let me check real quickly i'm an observation duty five how many achievements do we have for this one we have all of the achievements for i'm an observation duty five because i kind of wanted to go into i'm an observation duty five and play it again and go through like them the, the different maps although can we really do all the maps because we haven't done observation duty in a while and it's like the perfect opportunity now so let's go hop in Op i'm an observation duty five which is the og series by the way maybe we'll see skinny prince again if i see skinny prince i'm gonna fucking die i don't care um i'm gonna i'm gonna offer myself the skinny prince so here we go hunting hunting for the skinny prince I'm, or, just, we're, also jam, we're back, baby, I'm on observation duty, five, here we go, I'm on observation, I can't type, I'm on observation five, okay, here we go, so we're gonna still, we're gonna also say hi YouTube, holy shit, this screen's so fucked up, <laughs> The screen is messed up. Here we go. Hi, YouTube. How are you doing? And welcome back to I'm on Observation Duty 5. It's been a while that we've played an I'm on Observation Duty game from the True series. We've checked out a bunch of fan games recently, especially the new ghost hunting style Observation Duty game, Death Watch, that came out. However, I wanted to hop back into the classic, the last game uh, in, the, in the series of the original I'm on Observation Duty, so far at least, and just play a few maps, have a ton of fun. I absolutely love this game, and you guys enjoy it as well. So let's just sit back relax spot some anomalies get scared and i hope you join us if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time on the top into the game let's go Alrighty, we're gonna start off with the school so we can hopefully find skinny prince who knows maybe 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 we'll we will maybe we won't or we can start with the you know what i kind of want to start with the let's go to the school after we do the what's the house that had the late the the elevator boys do the what's the apartment elevator i think apartments elevator and also huge man right i think so let's go apartment yes here we are we are testing a new reporting system no need to report the anomaly type anymore only report the room you spotted the anomaly in but too many false reports will cause a system crash also Please note that the men in the elevator are not anomalies. That is that that line right there. I need more of that. Oh, it feels good to be back. Uh, let me let me. How many camps do we got again? Oh boy. Oh boy. The OG. Let Let's start at the beginning. So we got uh the elevator people. Yeah yeah yeah. We know we know. Why is, did I turn down the volume? Yeah, the volume is super low. Let's turn that up. Um. We got elevator boys right here. <laughs> They're chilling, having a good time, our friends. Uh, now let's go over this, because I need a refresher. Let's go over room one by one. We got four trash bags, three uh, three boxes. We got uh, three tools here. And if you also, by the way, if you've never seen Observation Duty, welcome to I'm on Observation Duty. This is a spot the different style horror game where you... Um, go into a house and you have to take in all the stuff that's there and then stuff can change such so as i mean in this case we just report the room 
So uh, that's it. But there's other, there's another set set of maps in this game as well where you have to report the specific anomalies. Which means that on this one, it gets a little wilder in terms of anomalies because they don't have to fall, fall into a specific category. So like the rooms can go upside down or stuff like that, or the walls can change in weird ways. So you got to be paying very close attention. Um, let, let, let's go. Let's continue here. Though we got two shoes. Uh, I mean, we got a whole shelf full of stuff. There's. Uh, Definitely okay. And this this order, we got a bottle. We got a what is this even? Like a uh, tissue box, and then salt shakers. We got a trash bag right there, and the study has a fan in it. Remember the fan? Uh, I don't think the direction matters. Uh, tea tin. We got all these wild dolly generated paintings. <laughs> what did you ask uh, Mid Journey Bot to create this thing? Hello. Uh, we got two bleach bottles. We got this uh, pretty big toilet. And this weird contraption of a dryer laundry combo, I think. How heavy is this thing? Holy shit. One of, what, like, bringing in a, a washing machine alone is so fucking heavy. Im imagine bringing this into your house. Holy shit. Uh, oh, boy. And here, there's a ton of shit. We got a bunch of rubble. We got some papers on the ground. We got a book. We got three, four books total in every corner of the room. Dude, okay. <laughs> Jesus fuck. Well, I'm gonna say it's an entrance real quick Whatever the fuck is going on there Fixing anomaly. So if you fail three times by the way, it's underneath me. If you fail three times uh, You're gonna you're gonna die. Also, I'm gonna move slightly over So I'm no longer covering up the time and you guys can see that as well. There you go You guys can see how much I failed and where we are and stuff. Um, this is very empty. We got rubble, we got a gasoline tank, and we got some candles. That's it. We got elevator, boys. And we're back. Back back in the loop-de-loop. -loop. There's so many anomalies that I have not seen yet in this one. I also want to do four again. And three, honestly. Three is like the, the black sheep of the family. It never got, like, super mainstream. I know there's also people... Wait, this is this a chair move? I know there's people that find three to be their favorite. Um... But three is also, like, very, very hard. Wasn't there a shoe outside? Was there? I don't think so. I don't remember. Toilet? Toilet? The toilet is completely different. Oh, boy. Toilet. So, in this game, you have to catch all the anomalies. Because once they're... Uh, I think there's, like, four... When there's four anomalies active, you you die, basically. So, you have to stay on top of things so that doesn't happen. Uh, which we have already reported two anomalies at 45 minutes into the game, which is definitely feels like it's It's not going easy on us Try death watch. I literally played death watch five minutes ago <laughs> But uh, if you want to watch that you can go back in the body you can check the YouTube It is a it's like a ghost hunting style observation duty game, which we're now we're going back to our roots which uh, I fucking love observation duty. It is it's like there's something so satisfying about watching the cams, getting spooked every now and then, but especially just keeping everything under lockdown. Like, it, getting all of them back to back to back, keeping everything clean, not getting any, like, warning, there's too many reports active. And even if you do... Oh, door open. Hallway. Um, even if you do start getting into the, like... And then on the opposite side, you have to, like, once you get that report of, like, there's too many anomalies... You need to stop them. You go into like this super unique panic mode where it's like, I don't know, man. Is this different? Is that different? I don't even know what's going on. Um, just, just definitely not something you. Oh, hello there. Okay, first hour, easy peasy. Already three anomalies though, which is definitely quite a few for the first hour. Security. Yeah, this is a. Uh, imagine coming home from security, uh, being a security guard, and then you watch me play observation duty. <laughs> You're like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Or imagine watching me play observation duty while you're on security duty. That would be even more. If someone somehow is doing that, you better let me know in the comments. Is the TV broken? It was always broken, yes. I might be going too fast. Uh, we need to look at the bulletin board as well, though. Have you seen this man? Don't call that number, by the way. 
You was, you used to watch me while on duty. Not observation duty, just duty. Those four <laughs> those four dudes in the elevator are just chilling. Uh the basket. Some things can be very sneaky, especially the object movements or like shuffling of objects can really trip you up, trip you and get you on the wrong foot. Basket is normal. I'm, I'm trying to get some hydration going. Mm. You're right. There are extra buttons in the elevator. I saw someone uh, say this in chat and I was like, wait a minute. I know that's a possibility. Look at that. I said duty. Do dookie. Observation. Uh, wait. Four? Four buckets? I think I was always there. Uh, there's definitely a surprise that can happen on this map. <laughs> that we uh, have seen a few times. I hope we see it again. Uh, wall? Different wall? Observation booty? I'm on... No? This is why it's nice to have you guys. Because I would be... I mean, this would be so much harder if you did. <laughs> I mean, obviously, most people play it by themselves and then the game gets like this whole extra layer of you gaslighting yourself i mean i already gaslight myself all the time but at least i get a little bit of a like helpline of asking people that are also paying attention ellie one ground oh wait what the fuck <laughs> uh ellie one this is different nice floor though i right i like this one can we keep this There you go. Clean. Why don't we... The, the thing with the Death Watch was... So what the difference was with Death Watch and this game is that in Death Watch, it would... The buttons are missing? No, they're still there. Uh, unless they're missing from the elevator. No, no, no. Uh, in Death Watch, the anomalies wouldn't disappear. Which, once you get... Well, <laughs> that changes the whole feel of the game. Because especially if you're playing it with other people... And they're not really paying close attention. They're going to constantly be saying stuff that you've already reported. So, yeah, it's definitely definitely nicer from my perspective that stuff disappears. So people don't go, oh, my God, have you, you why haven't you reported the dude that's naked in the bathtub? Because he's not going to be there after I do this. <laughs> that's very convenient for me. <laughs> Hi, gentlemen. There he goes. See? Imagine him just ticking around there for the whole game. <laughs> Dead. Okay. Hi, gentlemen. I love these guys. TV. TV broken. Come on. Give us the thing I'm looking for. Also, what we so... Um... What I really enjoyed about Death Watch is that it gave, like, the spin of a, of a like, ghost hunting game on an Observation Duty style game. But there's definitely so much more that could be done with the genre. Like, creating... Because it's kind of, like, old, like, in FNAF, right? You know? Because it's kind of similar to FNAF when you look at computer... Or when you're looking at camera screens and you have to, like, prevent yourself from dying. However... What it what is very different from this is that you actually have to pay attention to the cameras because most of the FNAF gameplay revolves around you eventually not having to use the cameras at all outside of like a few very specific mechanics, which I really enjoy that this game is all about observing. So instead of being like FNAF where eventually you stop observing because only in night one. Oh, my God, there's a head in the toilet <laughs> again. Uh, hi there. Only in uh, the first night of FNAF ha do you have, like, time and power to, like, look around on the cam and see the, the things move around. That's why I liked the, um, what is the game? What was that ghost hunting FNAF game that we played recently with the animatronics that were haunted? That one was really cool because it actually, you had to look on the cams. Juniors, that was the one. That one was really fun. I, I thought that was a really... Because it obviously wasn't really observation duty style because you weren't looking for stuff that was different. That was more FNAF plus ghost hunting instead of observation duty plus ghost hunting. Coffin in alley 2? Yeah, that's supposed to be there. Wait, is it gone? 
Oh, it's there. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Someone just threw their grandpa out with the trash. Entrance door? Seems normal. Entrance object movement. What the heck? Stairway. Entrance. I don't see object movements. I just don't see it. Extra chair in the... St uh, extra eyeballs in the alley one. I'm gonna say that's a yes. A yes from me. Missing books. Only three books. Oh boy. The shoe was too big? Really? Really? You're gonna waste a life. I don't think so. If we start getting like beepity boop boop beepity boop boop, then I'll report it, but I don't think so. Okay. Don't cry at me. Don't cry. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Shoe is fine. We've already gotten two dudes before 3 a.m. At 3 a.m., stuff starts getting crazy. But we've already gotten two naked people. The shoe is always big. Stairs? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. I would like to go down, please. Can I? Nope. No down. Like in a fancy house where you have two stairs going up to the second floor. They try to re replicate that. We gotta keep track of the anomalies. I mean, obviously at the end it'll tell us how many- Does it tell us how many anomalies you fix? I actually don't remember if it does in this game. So I actually know- Oh, well, wait a minute. The Observation Duty dev is actually working or not working on a new game, especially by the time that this video comes out. It's already gonna be done and I might already have played it. I don't know. Uh, maybe even on YouTube. Uh, but it's a new game from the Observation Duty dev called Trade or Die- Or no, I think it got a new name. It was called Trade or Die originally. Now it's called... Tra Does anyone know what it's called now? It's called Trader of the Night or something like that. I think that's what it's called. Um, object uh, door missing? No, 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 they're still there. Um, I think it's called Trader of the Night, if I remember correctly. I thought Trade or Die was a pretty solid name. Uh, but it's a game where you have to uh, do stock investing. And if you don't make enough money, the mafia or something will kill you. <laughs> and there's like other ominous shit going on. And you have to look at the news in the online, like in the game to figure out what stocks to invest in, etc. I hope it's going to be a little procedurally generated to a certain degree, so you don't going to have, like, the same strategies every time. Toilet? Toilet rack missing. Wow, you guys are crazy. I was talking about video games. Toilet up here, I'm guessing. Towel rack? Give it back to me. Yes, definitely. Um... So that is a game I'm looking forward to playing. Also, from my from my time, wait, are these planks new? I mean, this this has just been this is just a very exciting. Obviously, it's October. It's October, so people are gonna be uh, releasing a bunch of horror games. It's always a lovely time for me because I fucking love horror games. Like, uh, I'm very excited for tomorrow when we we're gonna be playing Scorn, which is a absolutely fucking awesome looking game. So that's, that's coming up tomorrow for us. Uh, hello painting, my old friend. What's wrong with you? Why, give me Thomas the Tank Engine back. When is Choo Choo Charles coming out? Choo Choo Charles. This is a tank engine, right? Ghost Exile. There's a new forewarned update. I think Ghost Exile. I still need to beat. No, we actually beat a few games. Didn't we beat a brutal mission last time? We went crazy on, on Ghost Exile. And I need to do more, um, metaphys metaphysical as well, because we got to shoot some ghosts with shotguns. That was, sh that was awesome. Um, you're following me from Argentina. How am I doing? I'm doing mighty fine. We're observing some duty right now. 9, 12, 20, 20. Is that, you mean 9th of December? Yes, let's go. Uh, hello. Another painting in the study. Excuse me. 
How long is this game? I mean, this game... How long did it take me? Because we have all the achievements, right? How long did it take me to beat this game? It took me 10 hours to beat the game. Which, that does not mean you've seen everything, by the way. There is many anomalies that are very, very rare. Scorn, I can't pull, wait to play. Yeah, Scorn is going to be sick. Um, something special for Halloween. I mean, I'm just going to be playing horror games. It's my, it's my, uh, my bread and butter. Will I be playing Watcher Duty? What do you mean? Is that a new game? Okami Gozen. Thank you for the 12 months. Scorn. You can always suggest games in the suggestion form, by the way, if you got some some cool horror games. Even if they're old, it doesn't matter. I like the because I only really started playing horror games um two two like a little over two years ago. I mean a little longer than that. Oh, that is different. Very sneaky. Entrance, painting different, or a thing on the bulletin board. Um so there's lots of games. Like if a game is older than three years, I haven't played it. Unless I have already played it. <laughs> obviously since um but i didn't play before that and all horror games i've played on stream so if you if you can find it on youtube just search on youtube if i played it already and if i haven't just suggest it we might not play it obviously because there's gonna be there's so many games out there and some games are really long like i still want to play like evil within and stuff like that but those games are long and i have a little extra time maybe we should do that like maybe we should play a a few longer horror games to celebrate, like, Halloween when, when it gets closer to it. Light anomaly in the kitchen? No, that's just a fridge. <laughs> fridge anomaly in the kitchen? I mean, it is bright. I, I get what you mean, but it is normal. Outlast? I already played Outlast twice, actually. Outlast is a really good example of me getting into horror games. Because I played it one time... When I was like, like three years ago, when I just basically was streaming for fun and, and no one was watching. Shoo! Shoo! Let's go. I love how Observation Duty becomes like a podcast for me. And we just start talking about shit. And then one of all of a sudden, there'll be like a guy naked in a corner somewhere. And we go like, naked man! And then we just continue. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell this is this is the i'm on observation duty podcast <laughs> imagine man in the trend in the trash <laughs> that's what i'm talking about <laughs> that's what i mean <laughs> lol i did not see that guy that brought the dude oh he was about to end my life <laughs> what the fuck uh-oh, I got him just in time. Well then. <laughs> he was about to go sicko mode on me. He was about to jump me. Okay. But yeah. So I played uh, Outlast when it, like three years ago or something when I was just playing games for fun and I was trying to get into horror games. Damn it, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. I was trying to get into horror games because it was a genre... Like, I loved just exploring genres. Like, that was my thing. Like, my whole history as a gamer... This chair moved. Uh, my whole history as a gamer was... I basically only played Game Boy games when I was a child. Um, and, like, a few... Like, I remember, like... What was it called? Quack Attack or something? And, like, uh, a game from Treasure Planet. Like, a racing game from Treasure Planet. And, like, a... Uh, like a, a bunch of few racing games here and there. Uh, and then I started playing fucking Modern Warfare 2. Quack Attack. Sounds amazing. It was a Donald Duck uh, freaking platformer or something. It was a very old game. Um, and then I started playing Modern Warfare 2, which I just got incredibly addicted to that. And I played it for forever. Like the only game I played. And then I like discovered, wait a minute. There's other games? <laughs> Other games exist. Like, I genuinely didn't know that you could play other games on a computer than, like, what the hell? Where'd your hair go? Hello? <laughs> Get it back. I got a haircut. Not on my watch. <laughs> they went bald. There you go. 
They were, you're welcome! Uh, so yeah, I only played Modern Warfare, and I were at a time where I only played Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 3, and stuff like that. Um, uh, I think the last one I played was... What was the last Modern Warfare I played? I mean, obviously, Modern Warfare, like the remake I played a little bit, but that was recently. I kinda, I kinda wanna try out Modern Warfare, the... Modern Warfare 2, the remake. That might be fun. Just the thing that I don't like about Modern Warfare is that they try to balance the game. So they no longer have like the fucking absolutely busted kill streaks where you could go like 20, 20, 0 with like a n tactical nuke and just blow everyone up. Like that shit was fun as hell. <laughs> but then they just like, that was the only reason. The only reason you played Modern Warfare or the only reason I played Modern Warfare, shoot again, no, it's fine, is because that one. G oh. What the fuck? Distortion. There we go. That one out of like 50 games you would have where you'd go like absolutely sicko mode and you'd uh, get like a, an AC-130 and like a nuke and everything and you'd just like destroy. That, that, that was why you played that game. Chair in the alley? No, this chair is fine. I already, I turned it around. But then they balanced the games and I just lost interest. Like, I wasn't... I didn't give a fuck about the other Modern Warfare's after that anymore. Um, but anyway, then I was like, oh, wait, there's a bunch of other games. And then I discovered, like, oh, wait, you can study game design? That's a thing you can do? So then I went to university for computer science with, like, uh, my... What do you call it? Like, not a minor, necessarily, but, like, your cho your choice courses. Like, you could choose specific parts of your degree. You could choose what you wanted to do. Uh, focus. Like, electives. Electives. Elective is the good one. Because it didn't ma it didn't become, like, my, my main bachelor. Like, my bachelor still says, like, computer science. Uh, the bathroom is, like, ten times bigger. Am I crazy? What? No? It's 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 different, right? <laughs> it is. The huh? Yes, okay. <laughs> that was a well, that was a weird one. Because obviously something was different, but I was like, what the heck? Okay, good. Um That was great. But yeah, then um Then I was so I was studying stuff like uh, game design and game programming and things like that, which made me really appreciate all kinds of video games. So then I went from playing only one game to playing literally like all the games under the sun and trying every different genre. And oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Jesus Christ! <laughs> I was just chilling, man. Just get the hell out of me. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I pooped my pants. I shit my pants, man. No crying. This is still the same. Yeah, I went from ever playing only one type of genre to playing every genre, and then I just started like exploring roguelikes. I mean, I was already playing MOBAs, I was playing League of Legends. And then I wanted to try out a MMO, so I tried Black Desert Online, which that was fun as well. There's a booty on the screen. Oh no, it's a is that a booty? I don't know what the fuck that is, but I want it out of here. Is that a butt? <laughs> Why is there wait, what's in the butt? <laughs> is that a tomato? Why does the tomato have a crack? Why does the tomato have a butt crack? Stem? I mean, maybe. Okay, one more hour, by the way. We're doing it. We're going sicko mode. Excuse me. Where's where's my huge man? Oh, maybe he'll show up. Maybe he'll, he'll uh, grace us with his presence. Nothing happened in the kitchen yet? That's sus. That is sus. Like, nothing actually has changed here? I mean, we haven't gotten our warning yet, so we're in we're in good standing with the game. Bring us huge man. I legit said booty. I did say booty. 
But then, like, three years ago, I wanted to start exploring horror games, which started with me playing Welcome to the Game, which I went absolutely crazy on. The door? Oh, yeah, what the fuck? I always forget that door. Um, that's the sneaky one. The sneaky one this late, really? And then I tried out Outlast, which I didn't enjoy Outlast on the first playthrough. That's that's why I went on this huge ass tangent because I was trying to explain the two different playthroughs of Outlast that I did. The first one was like three years ago or something, three four years ago, and I uh, didn't enjoy it at all. I was like, why? Because I was like, I didn't get scared because I was like, I was trying to be too good of a gamer. I wasn't allowing myself to get scared. So the main thing I the main thing I've learned over my time of playing horror games that you have to allow yourself to get scared because it's really easy not to get scared by games if you want to, if you like try hard. So I had to like slowly open myself up to be immersed more because I was playing games very tactically. Like I was playing strategy games. I was doing great games where you have to like plan out a whole day of grinding and then, like, what kind of potions you're going to craft to sell in the marketplace and shit like that. So, playing horror games is a very different experience from that. From, like... Because it's all... Because I didn't play many experience games. Like, I mostly played games where it's, like... Like, The Witcher 3. Where you, I mean, I guess The Witcher 3 is an experience game, but it's more like an RPG. And it's not like a walking simulator with some scares here and there, right? Oh, the papers have disappeared. I've been looking out for those fucking papers for the whole time because I know they're sneaky as hell. Goddamn papers. They're so sneaky. Oh my god. Really? Uh-oh. What the hell? We were missing something then. Unless they all appeared at once, we must be missing something. Nothing out here. Did they get taller? something in the kitchen what's in the kitchen shoes shoes are the same wait what the fuck i'm dead four trash bags bottle swap what the hell i'm just i'm stunned maybe this is a light anomaly shoe is missing oh it's there oh shoes in the hallway oh fuck ah shit you're right Okay, that's fine. Then I think we're safe, hopefully, at least for a few seconds. Okay. I, nice. We got to focus. Try kitchen. I guess I could try kitchen because we have two lives left. We have three lives. So it doesn't really matter. And then we maybe, maybe it is a light anomaly. It just looks like, like a, no. See, it's not a light anomaly. Study? Study, what's in the study? This? What's in the study? Study? Oh, there's so many light switches. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> the fuck? I did not even... That didn't even register. Why is the light switch in the back, by the way? That's weird. Oh my god! I can't show that! Boobies! Stairway. <laughs> no! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> you looked away? You're gonna have to pause the video for that one. Fucking clipped? No! Okay, four minutes. We win. We win the game, baby! Then we gotta go to the school to hunt for the legendary skinny prince. Let's go! Easy peasy. How many anomalies, though? How many out of how many? You better tell me how many anomalies I've picked or I'm gonna become the Joker. I wanna know this. That was a good first run. I mean, we we, we were rusty because we didn't play this game for a long-ass time. Give me 26 anomalies. That's pretty regular. Now we go to the school, which is gonna be the different system. The school is gonna have the old school system where you have to report... Um, the specific anomalies. The anomalies keep appearing, even after his demise. We are receive we are receiving reports of a haunted school. Please take care of it. Instructions will be provided. 
Let's go. Here we are. The skull. The first map we ever played. Now, on this map, I remember the... I think we were the one of the only ones who actually saw the skinny prince. Everyone else was just like... Oh, yes, I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to report anomalies. Everyone else was scared of the skinny prince. I embrace the goddamn skinny prince. Um... Like my favorite anomaly in all of the game. So let's go over the things again. Just to refresh our memory. We got two soap dispensers. We got a toilet roll. We got toilet... Or we got mats in front of the toilet. We got remember to wash your hands. We have a computer. Uh, which is currently not working probably. We got an apple. We got a bag. We got two things. Two papers. Two things, two papers. And then we have... Oh my god, we have four upside down chairs, one normal, a whole row of normal, and then one upside down. So, one normal, one upside down, normal. That's how it's go. That's how it goes, okay? And then we got one binder back there. Next. Also, people were so upset about this. I didn't even realize this, but the the United States map is upside down. And there were so many people that I watched this game, that I watched play this game, that were like, <laughs> like reporting this as an anomaly and then being like, What the fuck? That's normal? Oh my god! <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, we got a bottle. We got a book. We got two flyers, another flyer. Uh, these paintings are fucked. Uh, we got a binders, flyer, foot or football bottle. And a binder up there and a flyer up there. Then we got whatever the heck this is. This thing that people keep saying looks like a penis. Um, this. And then three laptop screens are turned on. We got all the laptops. Uh, we got two bottles, two bags. Uh, Newton's Cradle is what that's called. Got a mug. We got boobas. We got a dude teaching a class. We got two binders, we got a clock, three chairs, we got a fan that's turned on, we got a computer that's turned on, and we're a laptop, and we got a paper. Oh, and we're still we're still not done here. I thought we were done. We got four four balls, we got whatever, every every sport under the sun, and then we are, then we're back. Okay, now something has already gotten changed, probably. So let's find it, whatever it is. The floor, corridor. Floor anomaly, right? Am I crazy? Other? That's not subtle at all. That's like the most obvious, unless I'm crazy. I swear the floor is different. There you go. Easy peasy. All right, first anomaly spotted. Uh, hi there. That appeared in front of my eyes. We got a monitor anomaly. Hello, good to see you. Good to see you, my friend. But yeah, I highly recommend people to try different genres of games. Because you might just find... Because I remember I was, like... For example, Terraria. I played, like, one time. And then I stopped playing it because I was like, this isn't Minecraft. I don't know what I'm doing. And then I stopped playing it for a year. And then I just all of a sudden watched some YouTube videos about it. And I was like, wait a minute. That's that game that I already got. Is that different? Is that different? Painting? Picture anomaly? Um, and then it became, like, one of my most played games of all time. So, just give games a try. You might find your new favorite game. I remember playing Factorio for a few, several, many hundred hours. Okay, that did not change. Um. And same thing with Binding of Isaac. I thought that game was boring, or at least not boring, but just, like, why would I play this? Before I, before I like, got into roguelikes... And then, because I was like, why would you play this game if it doesn't give you permanent progression? I don't understand this. And then when I became a different person with less time, I was like, oh, wait a minute. It's actually really fun to play a game where you can play the whole game in like an hour and be done with it. So yeah, that's why that's when I started playing a little bit of Isaac. TV turn on. Or what? Extra paper on the desk. I don't think so. Laptop is open. It always was open. Mega Fry, they give you the 11 months. That's chair time. 
Right, ever tried RimWorld? Good, good example of a game that I absolutely fucking love. Um, I don't know how many hours I have in RimWorld, but I've played it a lot. Definitely want to play that again, but it's just those, that's the type of game where it's like really punishing. Bag missing? Bag missing! You are correct. Classroom 1, object disappearance. Um, I mean, I've played everything under the sun. I've played Persona 5. I played MMOs. I played roguelikes. I played fucking Factorio. I played League of Legends. Modern Warfare. <laughs> I'll play, uh... I'll play a game to see if I like the genre. Any Tarkov? Risk of Rain. I played the first Risk of Rain. Uh, that was definitely a hard game. I never got truly into it. Genshin Impact? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> oh my god. It's so bright. Get it out of here. Do I like MMOs? I like Black Desert Online. I have to think about that game sometimes. I'm like, I would like to walk around in that game again. They wiped my account though, because they got bought up by another company or something. And then they were like... And then the, the original company, which was like a fucking piece of shit, uh, was like... You're not getting our databases. You better have everyone migrate their account in this one specific month. And if you don't do it on time, we're deleting their data forever. So because I didn't play the game anymore and I ignored the email or the email was like, if you don't do this in one month, you lose everything. And I just didn't read it um, because I whatever. I didn't play the game and then I lost everything. Which I played that game for like 5,000 hours, so that was a little little bit of a bummer, but anyway. <laughs> I don't play it anyways. I mean, I didn't actually play it for 5,000 hours. I, I had 5,000 hours clocked into the game. Because the game really incentivized you doing AFK shit. Like, just turning on your computer all day and like fishing. Like, AFK fishing was a big thing. So, that was why. That was why I, I literally played it for like two, like two years total or something. And like two years, literally every day, 24 hours, basically. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I have so much time in that game. Probably still is my most played game of all time, even though I didn't play it for really that long at all. I definitely like that was one of those games where I was like, oh, I'm going to put this on the shelf for like years and years and years and years. And then eventually I'll come back. And I'll check the classroom painting, by the way. And I'll come back and check out and see what the game's like now. But then they, they made sure that that would not happen. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't have the time anymore to do MMOs. Because they take a lot of time. Honestly, like, that's why yesterday... I was really looking for a game like what I started playing today. Not yesterday. Uh, Medieval Dynasty is, like, really a game, like... Like, that I've been looking for for a while. It's kind of like Kingdom Come Deliverance, but then without the story. And, I mean, there's a story, I guess, but it's it's more about the the city building. Valheim I played um, as well. Valheim got boring very fast for me. I don't know. I was, like, all over the moon for that game for, like, the first 10 hours or something. And then, like, it freaking bombed like as soon as i got past the first major boss and i had to do the after the tree boss i was like just like done i don't know grounded never play grounded but it definitely looks like a game i would enjoy alien isolation i mean it's very different but i want to play alien isolation again i played that in the i played that in the era of me learning to enjoy horror games like outlast i tried then i tried alien isolation just item back there holy shit you're sneaky um Noita? I played Noita uh, for a little bit. I definitely wasn't... I, I didn't have an uh, astro freaking nuclear science degree, so I couldn't really play that game too well. Darkwood? Haven't played that yet. Valorant? I don't do that stuff anymore. Forest? I played the forest, obviously. Am I an F1 fan? Not necessarily, but I follow it a little bit. It's like... Uh, the reason why I follow F1 is the same reason you follow the World Championship of Soccer when your team is doing well. Because it's just fun <laughs> to win. <laughs> That's why. Because we're winning. <laughs> There's a gun on the desk. Oh my god. 
Extra object. Where is it? Extra object. Gun is normal. <laughs> Gun is normal, guys. We're in America. <laughs> No, not normal. No gun. Chair. Okay, Kona. Can't say that. I I don't understand the the people. Uh, because it has nothing that I always whenever I see a gun, I just make fun of it being something American. It has nothing to do with the school. It's just like whenever I see guns, it's like okay must be in the United States because that you don't realize this you make you you add the context school to it because to you guns are normal guns in other places just don't exist I never see a gun I haven't seen a gun ever <laughs> like the only times I see a gun is when you go to like an airplane and there's like a fucking military dude fully jacked out and like bulletproof armor and like they hold like a machine rifle. Like that's the only time you ever see a gun. You don't you don't have gun stores. You don't have people just carrying a gun around. You don't have your grandpa who has a gun on the wall. Actually, that's false. My grandpa had an old like World War One, like I don't know, like a flint not World War One even, like a flintlock pistol on the wall. <laughs> From like back in very old military days. That was the that was the one gun where I always looked at the gun and I was like, that's a fucking gun. You can you can do that. You can have a gun. Oh my god. That was crazy. Don't the Dutch police carry gun? Do you guys just see police everywhere? <laughs> I don't. There's no police in the place where places where I hang out a lot. You get there's just police on every corner. But I do, but I live in a crazy place. I don't, man. I, I we have like bike police here. They just bike around. They're just chilling. <laughs> but for police, I I guess that's true. Police carry guns, but that's different because it's fucking police. Whereas like. Like, guns being just a normal part of society really is unique to, uh, like, uh, a limited amount of places. Especially in Europe. It's really rare for that to be, like, omnipresent. I see police once a year. How do you guys see them every day? I mean, if you live in a city, like a big city, you'll see police, like, every day. I guess. I'm a nerd. I don't go outside. Yeah, exactly. What do you think I am? I'm a video fucking... I play video games for a living. I don't have to... I just... If I want to see guns, I just play a video game. <laughs> I don't even see people. <laughs> Can easily get a concealed carry for small handguns. Uh, bench? Bye. I'm just freaking... Autopiloting this, by the way. Anyone? Anyone seeing how insane this guy is? Light. The bot's dead. Why you guys kill the bot? Why you guys kill bot? Oh, it's been dead for a while. It's been dead since the study. <laughs> since the the light switches in the study. Because because it has a chat log on it, and the chat log stopped at that point. Wheelchair? That's not a sport. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, picture anomaly. <laughs> I remember this. This was there. Like, that was there from the beginning of last, of the first time I played it. There was a wheelchair on the wall. And I was just like, oh, I mean, I guess. It's, it's a, like, people can play sports in wheelchairs. <laughs> but I was like. Obviously, ro rolling someone around in a wheelchair <laughs> doesn't really fit into the rest of this. So I just left it there for the whole game. Chairs? What? Chairs? I don't see it. Will you play the Dark Occult? I don't even know what that, what that game exists. Are there always two bottles in the classroom? Yes. 
I know what you're talking about, and the answer is yes. These. These bottles. Osu? I played Osu for several hundred hours, too. That was when I was, like, getting off my League train, and I wanted to... Because I wanted to stop playing League, because League was fucking annoying. Like, I... It was too stressful, man. League is too stressful because there's other people involved. And I, but I, what I really enjoyed about League is the self improvement aspect of it. Because, like, getting better at something is fucking amazing. Like, it's one of the most satisfying experiences you can have. Like, besides playing a game where there's, like, progression, having, like, actual personal progression, the floor is different, is really unique to, like, games that have a high skill ceiling. Um,. So that's why I played League, but then League got too stressful because people just take it way too seriously. Uh, me included. I have like a fucking journal of every every game I played and I would like write down notes on what I did wrong and how I can improve in the next game. Like I was fucking sicko mode. Um, but as soon as that got too stressful, I stopped playing that and I started playing Osu, which if you want to play a game that doesn't have the stress of playing like a multiplayer game but does still have the self-improvement aspect of like a moba i highly recommend you try out Osu. give that a shot because that game like filled that niche for me until i was done with it like the way i play games the way i listen to music the way i do anything is just i freaking binge the shit out of it and then there will be like one point where i'm like done instantly like i'm done one day to the next never do it again and that's like like how i uh, it's just, I just don't look back often. I just like, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Hi there. Intruder. <laughs> My guy. <laughs> Holy shit. That's the first intruder on this map? I was chilling, man. I was freaking zoning out. <laughs> Shy guy from SCP. <laughs> Okay, nothing here. But yeah, then I, uh, so Osu really filled that niche until I was done with, until I was done with self-improvement games and I just wanted to, I don't know, do other things. Play like Terraria or something. Please never stop playing Phasmo. No, I'm not planning on it. Freaking love horror games. Uh, pfft. Hello? There's not, like nothing quite as satisfying as getting like all the evidence in Phasmo. That's why I hope they eventually like I know we just have to deal with it for a little while while the photo system is kind of shit. Like I hope it won't hurt my enjoyment too much because I definitely at the moment am kind of annoyed by the way they fucked up the photo system in Phasmo where they made it a whole lot less satisfying to like because it was now you can't really get a perfect game at all. Like back in the like before this update you could easily get a perfect game every game which just was like something i just inherently did all the time which was really fun but now it's just so worthless to do a perfect game like it doesn't give you any money that i just stopped doing it kind of which does take away from like the satisfaction of like completing a game to its fullest and also with the custom difficulty you have like infinite possibility of scaling like you could technically play every game at 24 times difficulty and get the most insane rewards possible, right? Ba bathroom stall door? Was it always open? Uh, yes. But this, this is there too. Which is why it kind of like, it kind of has grayed a lot of the, it has created a huge gray area around what is a good game. Like, how do you even play a, a good game of Phasmo anymore? Which, because you can like scale it all the way up to crazy town. Um... What will you do if no skinny prince? We'll get the skinny prince, don't worry. Photo, no more booba. Give. There you go. This is AI generated, by the way. <laughs> Just saying. AI generated booba. Skinny prince. This has been a quiet day. I'm gonna just start doing some random reports. Because I know they trigger some interactions to, or some anomalies to show up faster if you get wrong reports so let's start spamming where the balls in the middle of the gym no the balls are in the right spot the balls if they go if they become an anomaly they start rolling down classroom two movement classroom one classroom two i don't see it 
Unless laptops? No. No. Boom boom. So the reason why I'm spamming, if you haven't seen this before, is that you can get if you fail a, a report, there's like a chance of an anomaly to start to spawn in. So if you just spam a bunch of false reports, you'll get more anomalies. And this is confirmed by the dev, even though it is very subtle. It oh hello. <laughs> Subtle, as I said. <laughs> this is really subtle. <laughs> okay. He has no legs. What the hell, man? Holy shit. Come on. Give us the skinny... Br skinny Prince! Uh, door opening. Door opening. Now that's a, that's an anomaly. Do that in my face. You think you can get away with that shit? Don't you even dare. Don't you fucking dare. Classroom, classroom to plant movement? Is it shaking? Don't see it. I feel like we would have seen that. No. I love this game. Me too. So chill. It's chill scary. It's like, it forces you to focus. It's very clever because it forces you to focus. And then when you're the most focused, it takes advantage of you by fucking just jumping you with a, with a jump scare. Hey, Basket, thank you for the three and a bitties. Poster in one of the rooms. Classroom two screen anomaly. No? I don't think so. Um. <clears throat> Classroom 2 plant move. You keep saying that, but I don't see it. The wall clock? We'll pay attention to that, because I know something can happen with that. Uh, chairs? I'm being watched? The chairs are watching me. <laughs> Hello? Don't do that. Wrong time on the wall clock? That's not an anomaly. That's just school. You always have those clocks that got disconnected from the radio system and then they're just left to rot. <laughs> they're just like broken forever. You had that one class that was like, they just didn't have a clock and it never got repaired. So the, the teacher had to keep looking at their freaking computer to see what time it was. Yeah, this this time doesn't mean anything. Balls in the gym moved. I don't think so. I don't think so. We haven't gotten any like bbd boop boop boopity boop, so we're fine. When when we get bbd boop boop, I'll go crazy. I'll I'll report anything you want me to report. But right now we're on a roll. Balls in net gone. Okay. Object disappearance. That's a. I'll do it. Object disappearance. We'll give it a shot. Oh. Why did that stick around so long? It like lagged on the. On the glitch screen. Also, light anomaly. That's a sneaky one. Light anomaly on the. On the. Whatever projector screen. You once set a timer to 50 minutes faster and convince the teacher that the bell was supposed to ring 15 minutes ago excuse me <laughs> the teacher definitely told you by the way the teacher was definitely like oh i get i get 15 minutes extra lunch let's fucking go dude <laughs> you would be killed uh okay then i'm getting dizzy i love that there were like, this one is so subtle, some people don't realize what's happening on this one, and they look at it for so long, and then eventually they're like, Wait a minute! It's distorting! <laughs> it's like a very subtle fisheye effect. But like, when it restores itself... Boom. It's a huge difference. Painting changed in classroom 2. I beg to differ. 
I beg to differ. This is Jesus Christ. Okay, one more hour. Report spam. What map do we go to next time? Or next next round? I wanna we haven't the bank is hard as heck. Maybe we should go bank. If we wanna lose, we gotta go bank. Uh doors closed. <laughs> the fire doors. Corridor. Uh corridor doors. The bank is brutal. It's definitely probably the hardest map in this one. Or no, wait, what the hardest one might be is the I mean there's some real tough maps in in Observation Duty 5. But you have the what's that map? The um, Oh, that wasn't in this game. Was it? Was the market in this game? Because the market was fucking psycho mode. Like, that shit was crazy. There's so many items. Like, we're definitely gonna lose. I'd rather go bank, though. Bank bank is, like, fair. Because the market is, like... It's too insane. We're gonna get blasted. Is that in this game? I think so. Check if the plant moved. Okay. I can check. I can check. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I've been wrong all along. Object movement. Here you go. Classroom through object movement. <clears throat> Please leave the pl It's not. The plant is to be left alone. You hear me? The plant is just chilling. Hi there, sir. What are you doing back there? Get the fuck out of here. Is he gonna attack me? I'm just staying on the screen because I already reported him. Oh baby. That's that's a that's like a a risky maneuver. Classroom TV. Yes, you are correct. Correct indeed. That is in fact an anomaly. There is so much more text this time, but it is sneaky. But it is definitely one. Can you have the same anomaly twice in one game? No, you can't. You can only have one. One of each. There are other Observation Duty spin-off spin games that do have that. What can actually happen is you can be on this screen while you get the message about Skinny Prince. Which I don't think you can survive. Because it shows up and it says like, Don't go to the cam and because you will die. And then you click OK and then you instantly die. <laughs> it's, it's a little fucked up. It's just, you're just doomed. What's this? Gosh! We have detected the skinny prince in the gym! Please file an intruder report! Do not look at the gym cam before the anomaly is fixed! Let's go! <laughs> I'm. <ready. laughs> hey, let's go! <laughs> we got him, baby! Let's go! <laughs> Hey, skinny prince. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that does get you killed, obviously, uh, as they said. But if you report it, that's the thing. If you just report the skinny prince, nothing happens. Uh, you gotta check him out. If you get the skinny prince, you are you are uh, required to check him out. We are testing a new reporting. Yeah, yeah, we know. Um, the market is on this one. Yeah, we're not doing market right now. I want to do bank. Bank is still difficult, but it is gonna be possible. Oh, baby. I'm so glad we found the skinny prince. That was also near the end, right? We got the full run. Okay, so yeah, this is where it gets a little crazy. We're gonna have to put our gamer pants on. So take your pants off. Put your gamer pants on. I didn't just ask you to take your pants off. I asked you to put other pants on. Just for the record. For the record, um, we have... We're gonna go over everything. So we got stuff down here. We got uh, ATMs. We got a bunch of... Uh, what do these calls? Uh, Freaking stuff that keeps you in line. Uh, we got the 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 lion from the from the observation duty four, the big lion. Um, we have a key. I don't know if the key disappears. We got three old timey American people, or maybe uh, we got two chairs. I mean, this room is very empty. I think that'll be easy. Uh, it's mostly gonna be like big things disappearing that are gonna tr throw you off because sometimes you don't see them Like you're just completely gone and just an empty space now 
You gotta stay, pay close attention. We got accounting here in 201. We got accounting. Let's see if that changes. Two chairs, bench, bench, two plants. Check. We got fucking cursed babies everywhere. The worst paintings I've ever seen. Is it? That's got... I guess it's fine. I guess it's the way it is. We got a um, bottle of water. Bottle of water and a cup. Two cups and two books. And a bottle, bottle of water on that one. We got a... Um, we got this. My mic has some weird feedback. It just my fans are blown. It's my uh, my computer. What happened to the microphone? Is there a sound? Hello? Confused? I'm confused. It does. I don't hear anything myself. Um, we have water and a cup. Stairs. Uh, and we have. I guess it's stairs. We have two laptops, uh, two phones, and some paper and a calculator. Um, what the fuck, man? We get a, a tiny little climb up ladder. Chairs looking at me. Damn, that, this is a hard one. There's so much shit here. We got all the chairs. Oh my god, so many papers. Two, three papers. Binder. Holy fucking angel thing and a ship. We got whatever the fuck that painting is. We got a big mouth guy. We got some money. We got a key. Uh, again, we got a cat. We got fucking Germa 985. <laughs> uh, some more money, gold bars. And then we're back at the start. Okay. Now we now we go slow again. I mean, I guess we went slow initially. Let's go a little faster. Plus two. <laughs> I, I did not know because I, I watch uh, Northern Lion sometimes and he has like a meme where you go, where people go plus two or minus two depending on if the joke is good or not. I had no idea where that came from. Apparently, the origin of plus two and minus two is from a, a stream that Jerma did where he had he was with someone else and they had to make jokes. And every time they made a good joke, the chat would give them plus two seconds on the timer. And if they made a bad joke, they get minus two t seconds on the timer. And that just has stuck around after... Uh, even, is there a light anomaly here? What the fuck? There's definitely something going on here. And that's stuck around after the stream to become the legendary plus two minus two meme. That is definitely a light anomaly, right? What the fuck? Why is it so bright? <laughs> I thought it was just from our... I'm so bad! What the hell? Wait, excuse me? What the fuck? Extra chair and hallway. I'm clicking hallway, it better be right. Minus two me real quick. Oh, there's fucking <laughs> tryptophobia shit on the screen. Okay, you were right. Basement. <laughs> no, I thought it was from like uh, RPGs, just like, r I thought it was from like ratioing people going like plus one, and then that can, that changed into being a plus two, but no, it's actually I I mean that's what I at least people in the comments explained it to uh explained it as we still got accounting here. Do is anything else different? Am I fucked? There's got to be one more thing that's different, but it might be something that was different from the start. Extra chair in conference. Sure. Yeah, yeah, you probably. Okay. Well, that was a bit of a yikes. We wasted our warning right away. Still in the same ratio. I mean, I don't use Twitter. You were right. Painting in counting? I'm just going through it. <clears throat> that one? Hallway at the back? Is that different? No? We only have two more fails, by the way. Or one more fail, and then the next one's gonna kill us, so... We can't just go ham on it. Uh, that is definitely different. Counter. <laughs> you guys said painting is different? I can't even see the fucking painting, my guys. <laughs> there is definitely something up here. There you go. Um... This chair looking at me... It's giving me the heebie-jeebies. 
Just one limit. Yeah, if we get if we get three false reports, we die. I can't believe this is normal. I fucked up. What province are you from? Let me uh control copy my address in chat real quick. What the fuck? Akikuru, thank you for the nine months. <laughs> okay. Ames, thank you for the nine months. Arson. Who is, uh... Was that on before? I think so, yes. This plant is on fire. It was... Was on? Yes, yes. Hey, Blobby, what's up? Okay, we we can recover from this. We can recover from this uh, horrible start, <laughs> having literally wasted our our warning right off the bat. <clears throat> but we're alive. We're alive and kicking. Painting is different. The painting is the same. Drink some water while we're at it. Conference room is missing a chair. No, we already. Wait, are you serious? No, that was the anomaly. We fixed. We fixed that. The chair was extra. The cat is always there, yes. Central bank. Uh, no, this is still the same. I was just looking at the things down there. I'm curious to check out the, the other game by, by Observation Duty Dev when that comes out, like, in a few days. I mean, I already have access to it. I can't stream it already, but I was busy with other things, and now the... Now, freaking Scorn is coming out tomorrow, which might take even two streams to finish, which I hope it takes two streams to finish, because that means it's going to be a ton of fun to play. And there's going to be a lot of content. Because I actually really enjoyed Alien Cube, which was like kind of a, a light version of that. An indie game version of Scorn. Where did Scorn come from? Like, how were so many people, how did so many people know about this game and I just heard about it? Like, that game came out of fucking nowhere for me. Office Anomaly? Is this... different? What? What office? What office? Office? What's different? What? Office? I'm reporting it? I have no idea what it is. I don't think so, right? Maybe? Did we just die? Are we dead? Director's office? There's a fucking head on the floor! <laughs> well then, Stormy, thank you for the 12 months. Okay. Good. I don't see anything here. This one. Three papers, two papers, and then everything else. Yes. Uh, still computer. Still the same. The answer to the question is probably Steam Wishlist. I mean, there were, like, uh, people that knew about it. Apparently, it's been in, like, people have been working, or they've been working on Scorn for, like, five years. I like, guess a very... The game that's been in the make, in the works for a while. Hands in the office? Key is moved? I don't see it here. Key is on the other side of the table. This one? Yes? Okay. I'm sh I'm... I'm, uh, not as good as you guys are at this game. Holy shit, that's sneaky. Well done. Well done. Well done. What the fuck? Is that an ear? Ear? Whatever the fuck that is. It's a little fucked up. Okay, nothing here yet. This room is just so weird. Why it's so differently lit than all the other places. Are reporting the computer in the office? No, we can't just report shit, because if you report stuff and it's wrong, you lose one of your lives. 
And we can only make one more mistake. If we make one mistake now, then we have to be perfect from that point on, because any mistake will kill us then. So I don't want to just guess. I want to I wanna keep that extra life, just in case we do have to make a mistake, or we do accidentally make a mistake later on. I don't want to instantly die. We have a plan right there, by the way. Vault. We'll see. The vault looks large, but I... Is it larger than usual? More gold? Wait. Was there always a pile of gold here? Because these were normal. Is there extra gold? I actually don't remember. I did not look. There's extra gold? Is it normal? Is it extra? Normal? I think we're gonna... I think it's normal? I think so. We'll just fucking die, I guess. <laughs> It'll be like... Bah! You lose. You lose. I don't know. I'm blind. At least you're honest. Director's office again. Eyes on the painting. Oh my god. <laughs> yup. Yup. I'm sending it. <laughs> He's looking around. Wait a minute. I, didn't, I thought he was just fucked up eyes. <laughs> well then. Well then. Follow my cursor? I don't think so. I think he was just randomly looking. Okay. Here I have to focus so much more. At least to the vault. I can't. We're gonna lose. If it's wrong, we have no more lives. And then every time someone goes like, Oh, it's this. And then, oh, that is different. Painting in the hallway. Sneaky. Let's go. Okay. That gold pal wasn't there. It wasn't there. You went back to check it? Is that what you mean? Or are you just... Going, like, trust me. Source, dude, just trust me. The gold was always there. There's more people saying it was there than people saying it wasn't. So I'm sorry. I'm going to have to stick to that. <clears throat> going to have to stick to the majority opinion. This is a democracy. Four bars is normal. Yeah, but we're talking about something else. We are talking about, if I can get there, one cam at a time. What's my opinion on VTubers? Uh, harmless. It's... If you want to watch... It's like if you watch anime, you might find that more interesting. I definitely... What the fuck? There's a naked guy. I don't watch, like, anime myself. So I don't watch anime streamers as well. But that doesn't mean that it's not content for people. There you go. It's like, what do you think about... People that play shooters. <laughs> Innocent. <laughs> but I don't watch shooters, so I don't watch the people that play shooters. <laughs> like, does that make sense? <clears throat> what do I think about Insim? Fucking unacceptable. Intruders where? There was a dude! He was naked, he was covering his wee wee. I'm, I'm, I swear to God, if we die and that gold ended up being an anomaly, I'm going to become the Joker. He was standing right there. Light switch is extra in director's office. That's real fucked up. I think it's always two. Because there are places where you have two light switches like that. Man, you guys are you guys are manifesting new anomalies that are making that is like that would be totally fine if the system was different, but I can't make mistakes, my guy, my my friends. If I make mistakes, we die. Or the plant's gone. Give me my plant back. I was like, why can't I see the floor all of a sudden? That's because there's a missing plant. There you go. Or numbers. If there's one thing 
Like, there's definitely... So, I'm, I'm glad that gambling is getting removed, because that was content that I was very much not... Uh, like, I was very much against that being on the platform, because it's they don't have any systems to enforce age restrictions. So, like, you could just say... Like, when you go into a stream that says it's supposed to be an 18-plus stream, you get, like, a pop-up that says, the streamer has classified this stream as being a mature stream. And then you go, okay, or cancel. And you, I, everyone is going to click okay. Even the 10-year-olds who lied, especially the 10-year-olds who lied to get a Twitch account in the first place, are obviously going to just click okay and then watch the stream anyway and see someone bet thousands and thousands of dollars. And then one time after losing like 5 million, they win 3 million and then go like, oh my God, I just won 3 million. And then they don't see the 5 million they lost before that. And then people go like, oh my God, gambling is an actual way to get money without knowing just how fucking severely terrible it is to do gambling. So I'm glad that we're getting rid of that stuff. At least the slots. At least the slots. And then the other thing that I personally just found absolutely ridiculous that exists on the platform, there's like some streamers in like, I don't, there's like some streamers in the hot tub category that are like, there's like a new meta and it's so, I don't know. It's just, it, you know, it really grinds my gears. It's the meta where people are like, off the screen all the time they are books are missing i should really be paying attention because i think we're about to die is something missing something dying are we dying i'll, I'll continue the story that the cat is looking at me basement There's like a new meta where people don't show themselves and then they run a timer on the screen it's like at the end of the timer I'll do squats. And then when the timer runs out, they'll just set another timer. And then there's like 8,000 people watching of, and the chat room is literally just like 8,000 like young boys harassing this girl to show herself on stream. But every time the timer runs out, the timer just gets reset. And, but the only thing you can see it's like the arm of the person that is doing the stream. It's like so fucking crazy. Like, why would you? Obviously, you can do that to yourself because you're making money. But like, why would you? Why would you fucking <laughs> expose yourself to that shit? <laughs> like, obviously, the people who are watching and are harassing this person are weirdos. But at the same time, the people that are just like, wait. The timer ran out. Why aren't you doing the squats? Like, yes, they're probably weirdos who want to see a girl squat on video. But at the same time, your title is water emoji, water emoji, sexy bikini, water emoji, water emoji, doing squats when the timer runs out. Like, what, do you, who, what kind of people did you expect to click on a screen like that? <laughs> Obviously, they want to see you squat. <laughs> like... So it just doesn't, doesn't make sense to me. Like, the fact, I don't know. That shit's just weird to me. It's just weird that it exists. You forgot the eggplant emoji. It's like, it's crazy. Remy, thank you for the six months. So yeah, gambling streams, and then there's some like, very explicit content that they should remove as well and then obviously like all the things they've done recently like twitch has been tanking tank is that floor different twitch has been tanking in the pr department trying to like fucking uh the reduce people's pay cuts and stuff like that the blinds in the office these the blinds are closed is that different yes okay Sorry, I was very distracted going on that tangent. Or oh, these ones, maybe. I don't know. One of these. I hope. And then we can also get check the computer. Please. Yes. So the computer was normal, but this was, op this was uh, open before. Let's go. All right, so we checked the computer. I'm glad we didn't waste a life on that. Twitch needs more money. They can't even afford a phone pit. Now, to be fair, that was not Twitch's fault. That was Lenovo's fault. Let it be clear. Lenovo was the one who had the booth with the foam. 
I can't really, you can't really blame Twitch for not checking every single booth. Like, that was obviously up to the, I mean, it, they should check it, really. They should check it, but it was still Lenovo who did the bull pit, or the foam pit. It's just, like, insane that that was, the most insane part of that was that they kept the pit open after it caused, like, a severe back injury. Like, not a, just an injury. Someone broke their fucking back in two places. And then they kept it open for other people to go in it. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> That's fucking crazy. The book is missing in the director's office. Is it? Here? The books? Okay, people- many people are saying this? Yes, thank you. Thank you guys for keeping me on track <laughs> while I am trying to derail the stream talking about random shit. Thank you. Okay, that is definitely an anomaly. You guys are carrying. Reduce the payout. Yeah, the thing is that- I mean, the one thing that I- the way they should have done this, but obviously they didn't do it this way because they would be losing money. The way they should have done this, the way the system would be fair, in my opinion, is if this, the, the, the payout system, by the way, is what I'm talking about, is if the 70-30 payout split would be for everyone. For, oh, the uh, conference room stuff is missing. Pen is missing. You're actually insane. Was that in the conference room? Was that in the conference room? Was there a missing pen? There was a pen somewhere. Okay, that was in the conference room. Just making sure that it was conference room. Um, the way that it would be fair, and I would be totally fine with it, is if they would uh, give every single partnered streamer, even the affiliate streamer, but obviously they're not going to do that. They give every single partnered streamer the 70-30 split up to 100,000 earnings per year. That would be really cool would change so many people's lives it would change like this the streamers that are like between 100 and 200 views it would make them go from being able to like just having to do this on the side to making it their full-time job because that is a huge it's obviously a huge different huge difference but the only the way they did it now is they did that system the phone is missing but only for oh my god what the fuck break area but only for people that already had the split to begin with. So everyone who gets to be partner after this point never gets a chance to have a hundred K. Like the 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 hundred K option of having up to So the way it works, the way the system works is up to a hundred K earnings, you have the 70-30 split. After that, it becomes a 50-50 split. Which is super fair because that means that every small streamer it's gonna have their life changed by having the, uh, by having the 70-30 split. However, the way they did it is just fuck over everyone, except like like except small streamers that already had the 70-30 split for some reason, which there are very few of those. So instead of making it better for like they should just buff small streamers is what I'm saying. They should give small streamers 70-30 split and make it for, like, maybe even reduce it. Like, up to 50k, everyone on the platform has a 70-30 split. After that, if someone makes more than 50k, it becomes a 50-50 split. That would be... Because then, it, once you earn more than 50k, who cares? You're already making an insane amount of money anyway. Just stop crying. <laughs> like... At least that way, they would help out the smaller streamers. Pictures in the hallway? No, this is the same. The vending machine? Oh yeah, what the hell? That's a new one. So yeah, I would like to see buffs to small streamers instead of... Instead of like... Because the big streamers won't... I mean, they will obviously feel it in the, like, <laughs> income. But the income is already so ludicrously detached from reality that it doesn't really matter anyway. So, I would really rather see a, an increase to the split for small streamers and then just 
give no bigger cut to the big streamers. Obviously, they won't do that because the big streamers have most of the power on the platform. But it will be way more... It would give so many more people... It would make so many more people happy if it worked the other way around. But I guess that's just the way capitalism works. Or not even capitalism, just like, I don't even know what you call that. Laptop! No laptop! Give me my computer back! This is now an in-sim rant instead of- This is my Observation Duty podcast. <laughs> this is where we play Observation Duty while I talk about random shit, and then you guys help me fish- Not die. <laughs> Colored company greed to keep the big dogs around. Well, the, oh, this also changed, right? Wait, aren't there more? Isn't this different? It's all swigger. I think so. The ropes are different. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. There, because I, I don't know the exact. Oh my god, I can see your butt, my dude. <laughs> like I think like the the top 0.5% of streamers makes Amazon like I don't know 90% of their revenue like I I think it's really extreme on Twitch like on Twitch the discoverability is so much worse than on the on other platforms that it really is like super skewed to the top like the top streamers get almost all the views in some podcast hey i wouldn't mind like i love talking that's why something that's why honestly observation duty is such a fun game once you get good at it because i get the i get to talk a little more i'm on i'm on i'm i'm on podcast duty <laughs> but like i that's why because some games are so scary i can't i can't really talk like i i just have to focus on not fucking dying and getting my like shitting my pants but there are definitely especially when we're like playing phasma and stuff sometimes i get to chat a little more and at the start and end of or start of streams especially we get the chat and sometimes just doing like a casual session of phasma like where we don't do any challenges because most of the time we try to go crazy that's the thing when you plant trans chairs are missing hall yes hall we're almost winning, by the way. That's the thing with, um... Um, what was I saying? <laughs> I, just, I don't know. Must have not been important. Um... <laughs> that's the thing with, you know? You know? That's the thing. That's the thing with, you know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Are you winning, son? <laughs> Not important, not important. How about you do some squads? Plus two callback right there. That's a plus two reference. <laughs> Bottle and conference room missing? No, it's right there. <laughs> oh boy. We're almost there. Wait, four more minutes. We've done it. I didn't even see, but we're winning. That was an insane comeback. After getting our, 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 like, world rocked right at the start of the, of the game, we managed to bring it back and not get killed. That was huge. Let's go. There we go. How many anomalies? Because obviously, the difference between this, this system and the other system is that in the other system, you can spam reports, get more anomalies. Here, you just have to take whatever you get. So it's always going to be kind of around 26, I think. 25 there you go all righty well let me know if you want to see oh let me please reduce the music let me know if you want to see more observation duty absolutely love this game obviously we still have so we got all the achievements for this one uh i have all the achievements yes i do discovered the secret this is the last achievement um but we don't have all the achievements for four and three i think so we can do that uh we can play that uh th those games again get all the achievements and obviously we haven't played all the maps today we played um three of the maps we played the school uh, we did die but that was worth it we played the apartment and the bank we can do the metro and the house and the market well next uh, as well next time if you want to see that 
Sure, let me know. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for sticking uh, or sticking around, having a good time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash itsim. Every single day at 7 p.m. Century repeat that. Thank you very much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for hanging out. Bye-bye, YouTube.